Hello. Hi, friends. Paige, hello. Paul, oh, hi. Welcome, welcome. Um, just making sure that my sound isn't going to mess up or do things I don't want it to do. Let's go. All right. And why is the music? Oh, that's why. <laughs> Sorry about that. I thought the music was going the whole time, but apparently my browser decided to like default mute that page. But it's working now. Mm. Yes, that's up enough. I had the microphone on once before I started the stream. More than that is asking too much. All right, now we're all hooked up. Good to go. Cool. And this desk, my desk is a mess. That's part of what we're doing tonight. I'm going to work on the table in the garage. I wanted to do that, but um, but I'm not doing that because I went out last night to start sanding the top of it. And the respirator that I have currently is too big for my face. So I got to have to find another one before I can do the rest of that the rest of that table so tonight's plan is to sew the serger cover because it's been sitting here pinned for a while I just haven't got around to actually running it through the sewing machine um, so doing that and tidying up because this room is a fucking mess um maybe starting more crochet breakfast foods something like that should be a good time i hope so anyway um but we'll start off probably by making a few stars because i still need to keep working on that basil honey you cannot sit there you can't do it it's not the place for you my stash of papers that I write things on. Whoops. I just have all these scraps of paper and I make notes on them while I'm sitting at my computer and I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll totally consolidate those later. I never do. Oh, there was something else I needed to do. What was it? Where was that thing? Oh, this pencil. I have a pencil sharpener for it. That I picked up today, or at least that I hope will fit. Um, but I picked it up today, so it's in the dining room, and I need to go and grab that. This is one of the stays for the cover, so we'll need that. All right. Um, oh, there are more stays over here. Cage, Paul, what are you up to this evening? Um, I got NOS. Let's move that. Move these. All right, this looks a little bit more manageable. Let me go get that pencil sharpener. Oh, where did that stuff get put? Oh, uh, it's behind me on the chair. Duh. Nothing fancy. It's just this crappy pencil sharpener, but I'm hoping that this other opening will be big enough for this pencil because it's a really weird size. 
and I generally don't carry this pencil around with me when I'm out, so I never know <laughs> if, like, when I'm at the craft reuse place, I never know if the pencil sharpener that I'm looking at is actually the right size because I don't carry it around with me. So it goes there. I mean, it'll fit, it fits, but then like up here, focus camera, what is your problem? So it goes, but it doesn't go all the way to the end of the sharpener, the blade. And it's not gonna, it's not gonna focus or show me that, so whatever. But I think that's still closer. So it sharpens it and makes it look nice, but there's no, um, like the point, it's not pointy, which is a bit annoying. Oh well, I tried. It was 25 whole cents, so not a huge deal. Oh god damn it. There was a second pencil sharpener on the shelf here, and in setting this one down, I knocked the other one off the shelf, and now there's pencil shavings all over the floor under my desk. Super, super great. Love that. I guess I'll just pick them up. I was tempted to be like, oh, I could just plug in that mini sewing machine vacuum and vacuum them up but it's definitely less work to just pick them up Ugh. okay all right let's um i guess pull a few stars because that's something that i need to keep up on still not caught up Oh, and I have this going. It would be just like me to completely forget about it. Why is it not showing up? There it is. There it is. Okay, great. Try to not get scrolls for the things that are already higher levels. Range units. Huh. Oh, and balloons. All right. So let's see. One. Hm. There is like not really any level fours on this one. There's one, two. Weird. Oh well. All right, so there's that. If people are interested, go for it. Otherwise, no big deal. Um, yeah, I need to do a few stars and then we will jump into the sewing thing to get it done. I'm sorry we're not in the garage today. I would have liked that as well. Basil, you, what did you get into? She has fuzz bunnies all over her tail. What did you get into, hmm? You gotta scoot over. Can you scoot over? Just over here? Thank you. Thank you, kitten. No, stay here on the side. Come on, go over here. You've got your little bed. I know it's covered in cat hair, but it's yours, so, you know. Can you lay on your bed, please? She'll lay on her bed when I'm sitting here doing other things, not streaming, and then once I go live, she immediately is like, no, I will sit only in the center. Cat, you're really in the way. Come in. Um, so which... Oh my god. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Let's see. 
We need the list. And a pen, list pen, papers. Where? Hi, how are you tonight? I guess. Yes. Fine. How is that only 500 points? I need to raise that. Too cheap. I'm solid. How's, how's the first full week of school? How is that going? Ow. I'm okay. I'm good overall. I just, you know, wishing there was more time in the day. Wishing I wasn't so bad at time. So the usual, really. Realizing that it probably is in my best interest to not wait until Monday to situate my school stuff as far as like um, logging in <laughs> and doing all the orientation crap for each class. Because in my head I'm like, I'll just do all of it on Monday. It's fine. It's fine. But then today I was like, okay, but maybe I shouldn't wait until Monday for that. Will you sit down? I'll pet you if you sit down. No sit, no pets. Thank you. Good God. You're also bad at linear time. It is what it is. Well, yes. In fact, it is what it is and can never be anything other than that. You are so rotten. So rotten. Look at you. I can't take you anywhere. So spoiled. This cat. Okay, you get up, you don't get pets. Really? With the ear? Don't spray it. Cats don't like to travel. What? What is, where did that come from? What does that have to do? What does that have to do with anything? That seems a bit out of the blue. Those aren't plain white. Where's the elephants? Oh, pink elephants. We can start with pink elephants. Next. Can't take her in here. Oh. Wow. Wow. That's great. That's not how... No, no, that is how you spell that. Okay. Basil, you're in the way. What all classes are you taking? Where? I know you said Spanish, and then you, I think you told me some others, but I'll be honest, I don't remember what they were, I'm sorry. Why do you have all this stuff stuck in your tail? What were you getting into? I was also debating if I wanted to have an edible tonight. Sometimes that's nice. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that or not because it can go either way. It can either make me more productive or it makes me just like useless. Cell, hi. Oh my gosh. How are you doing? I've been thinking about you and like wishing there was something that I could do to help with your flooded situation. Either way, it makes for good content. Wow, well, thanks. And I was very, Zala was very much hoping that maybe the damage wasn't as bad as it looked from those pictures, but you're exhausted both emotionally and physically. I bet. I can, I can only imagine 
Is there insurance that's going to help and pay out anything for this? It's like, Jesus. I, like, I can't even offer to give you a hug because you're far away. No. It was worse than the pictures. Oh my god. Hey, you. Oh my gosh. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Like, in my head, I'm like, is there something you can do? Like, can we, like, do a fundraiser to, like, raise money to, like, replace some of the stuff that is ruined? But, like, even just, like, your, that building in the workshop, like, the time it took for all of that stuff to get there and, like, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, like, it's, it's too much. I pulled three dump truck loads out already and you're still not done. I hate this. I hate this for you so much. And I hate not being able to do anything to help. It's, mm, do you at least have like people coming to help out like neighbors friends anybody like p are people pitching in to help each other out at least is there any way to have the cat and that bag back there in the same place Ugh, no that's not a toy in the same place at the same time the paper bag on the chair i mean they're both in the same room the paper bag has yarn in it right now. It has yarn and uh, I think, okay, it used to have a puzzle in it because I also bought a puzzle, but the puzzle is in the living room now. It's fucking Fred. Who names a hurricane Fred anyway, right? Me, my dad, and my brother. Uh, I just... I want to do something so bad and I feel like there's really like nothing that I could do that would matter and that sucks because like I am I'm the type of friend who does like actions so like if I were within a driving distance a reasonable driving distance I would be like cool I will come and help with my arms and legs and move things but I can't been filled with yarn only adds to the appeal of combining with the cat. No, not a car ride stream. I can't go anywhere. School starts on Monday. Can't do it. Um, where or anybody else? I don't know if you saw on Zell's Instagram. He took pictures and things. The hurricane like fucked up all his shit really, really badly. And his entire huge, amazing workshop and everything it's just under at least was under at least three feet of water and so they are working on clearing shit out and it's just absolutely devastating and i want to do something but nothing seems nothing seems appropriate or adequate cage you got to do it yourself you got to just suck it up and get it done that's where i'm at today no pity parties. That's where we're at. Um, we're making some stars and then we're going to start sewing. Um, that's the plan. As I was saying at the very beginning, I don't know if anyone is here yet. Um, we're not in the garage today because the next steps are sanding and spraying. And the respirator that I got is too big for my face, even though I made very certain to check all of their size charts and fit guides and all of this stuff to make sure that I got the right one because I assumed that they were all made with large burly men in mind, not like petite small people. So I was like, yeah, it says medium. I checked a few times, medium, medium, medium wrong it covers like my whole face and is like respirators aren't supposed to go up to your tear ducts so i gotta figure that out first
Is that 10? One, two, three, four. Oh, this page is 10. And okay. You could use put. Wait, what? Respirators are the devil. Why do you say that? Why are they the devil? I mean, I don't like inhaling a bunch of shit I'm not supposed to. I want to live a long time and not get lung cancer if I can help it. Or any other type of cancer if I can help it. Too much cancer this week. Seriously. Too many people I know either dying from cancer or being diagnosed with cancer this week. No thank you. And they were both young, like 40s and early 50s. You could use putty and fill in the gaps. That would make for a good stream. Where? What are you talking about? Fill in the gaps of what? Beers and respirators don't work well together. That's fair. That is fair. I have, I, yes. I can see that being a problem. But it's still better than nothing. Even if it doesn't have a perfect seal, that's still better. Uh, like, even if it doesn't have a perfect seal, having a... A, a seal with, I guess, gaps is still better than nothing, right? It's still filtering some of it. I think so anyway, but I am no expert. I just like breathing. Mm. Tasty, tasty breathing. Excuse me, move your tail. But no, there would be no use for putty. That doesn't, that doesn't even make any sense. Because, like, it's not a permanent fixture. So why would we do that? These are still leftover stars from the pool stream. I have not folded them in a while and being out in the garage nothing gets folded. Humor mostly. That's a bit I don't know I would say that's even a stretch I just think it doesn't it just doesn't even make any sense. It's all right. Points for trying. Points for trying. Basil you're this tail business you got to get that under control man. I almost think I was faster at folding stars when I was using my left hand. So it's going, but I don't know. I felt like I was really fast that way. But maybe I, I could totally be misremembering. Anyway, what are you all doing tonight besides hanging out here? in there. There we go. Concentration. I figured out more noise. More noise to add to the garage streams. Um, so I have like, I have three different air purifiers in the garage that I found for free on the curb last fall somewhere. And they're really, really, really nice ones that are like $800 each. My plan was to like resell them on eBay or Marketplace or something, but I didn't get around to doing that. And then with all of this banding and dust and shit, I was like, oh, I'll just turn on the air purifier. Which I guess does its job. I don't know how to prove that it's doing anything, but it, supposedly, I mean, it turns on fine. I guess I don't see why it wouldn't work. So that should be helping out, but it does also create a bit of white noise. So we'll have to see next time. We'll have to see how that affects the sound and microphones and stuff. Can't wear my glasses with my respirator, it's a full face shield. 
Why did you get a full face shield one if you would you know you wear glasses? Why would you buy a full face respirator? That doesn't make any sense. Get the half face one and then you should be able to wear your glasses. Full face respirators are sweet. Sure. You thought it would go over them. Mm. Guess not. I mean, if anybody needs a medium full face respirator, I've got one. It's brand new. <laughs> it's brand new. I opened the package, so I doubt that I can return it. And then I was like, well, maybe I can try and make it work. Like thinking that a shitty seal is better than no seal. But that was not the case for me because I had to, t I had to tighten it like all the way up. And then it was like pulling like my jaw and stuff. It was so uncomfortable. I couldn't do it. It's also kind of small. What size is it? I would guess it's if it's just one they had on the shelf at the store, it's probably a medium because I'm pretty sure that's like the default size of those things. So they fit most people. Yep, and it's a medium. So if it's kind of small, you probably need a large, which they're available. You just have to look for them. A 3XL and it's a bit tight. How? What brand is it? Because I feel like sizing also varies by brand and probably also by style. I kid, I kid, of course. Well, I have no way of knowing that you're joking unless you tell me because text. So the 3M, yeah. I mean, I feel like most of them are 3M because they're kind of like the people who make the thing that are known for making the thing. Pretty sure it's large. Well, I need a small. So if anyone knows where to find one of those, let me know because my preliminary Google search was not helpful at all. Got it for protests and COVID and such. Wow. I feel like most protests here in this country are kind of pointless because if you have to ask for permission and get a permit you're missing the point just saying if you're not inconveniencing anyone you're not making the point but that's a different topic we don't have to get into that I'm just here for the good Friday night vibes, hopefully. No, I think I made the tabs too short. Fuck. Go over and then under. Should work. We'll see. All right, this one's done. I'm trying to do them quickly. If I don't do them, they won't get done, so, you know. I'm here for anything that does not involve mud or wet insulation. Hey, I can, I can work with that. I can absolutely work with that. We've got, we've got plenty of things going on that are not those things. We have... I don't know, I was like feeling like I should list some things and then I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what specifics they would be. Ah. I'm 
I don't know. You're not going to be on as late. You have to get up early. So you're going to try and go to sleep in an hour. Okay. That's fine. Yo, Cage, you're not accountable to me. You can do what you want. You like, you're never obligated to be here. You know that, right? Live your life. Do the thing. What do you have going on tomorrow? What do you got to get up early to do? Wait, we're not, or just Cage? Um. Well, I had one answer, but now I'm changing my answer, so maybe just him. <laughs> the rest of you, though, I'm going to start taking attendance. Since you asked. If you hadn't asked, it might have been alright, but you asked, so... Now it's a thing. Although, having it be a thing involved, would involve me having to remember, so that's that part you might get lucky on. What is that emote? Is that like a person shrugging? What is... Oh, I guess it is a shrug. <laughs> I don't know. I tried to make a joke. Okay, it failed terribly. I don't know. Like, I'll have days like today. I'm in a good mood. I'm having a good day. Things are good. And then I come over here and start the stream. And then I've got like, like I've done, I did things. I did things the last couple of days. But like, then I don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> or like, I'm be, I'll be in a good mood, but then, like, I try to be funny, and it just, like, psh, crashes, burns. About that edible. If you ask, it's not going to happen. Just point blank. Just throwing that out there. You have to get up early so you can go get outdoor extension cords. You can use the computer outside so you can stream longer than two hours. All right. That makes sense. Being able to plug things in. What a novel concept, right? I need to get another power strip and I keep forgetting. Because in order to run around, not run around, in order to be able to stream in the garage and plug in things I need to plug in, I need a power strip out there. So I keep taking my plug... I was reading and talking at the same time, so I keep taking the power strip out there. But then I left it out there the other night because I was like, it's a pain in the butt. I'll just leave it out here and try to remember to go to the store and get another one for under my desk. For my plant lights. I have not gone to the fucking store. Absolutely not. And so my poor plants on the shelf did not get any light today. And also not any light yesterday. Plug it in, plug it in. That's Glade. That's for your air fresheners. But I suppose also for the electronics. I bought a power strip at a garage sale once. Well, I okay, I didn't buy it. My partner and I, we were just walking around town. This is a few 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 years ago um we were walking around town and there was a garage sale and we were like well we're literally walking by we'll just take a look whatever for whatever reason he decides to buy this power strip because there was a dollar and i think we needed one for some for, it was for some dumb thing in the basement i think and so he buys this power strip and we get home and i go to take it downstairs and plug it in and i notice that at least a couple of the plugs are on like something happened to them and there's like black charred marks around the plugs a couple of the plugs on this power strip a bit sketch just a little and he is like oh i didn't notice those but it was a dollar so whatever and then proceeded to use 
the non-charred ports on the power strip. I think it's still down there in the basement. But, you know, so if the house burns down, that's the reason. Thumb nitty is high. Is that how I, did I pronounce it right? What are you working on? So right now I'm folding some origami stars. Um, and then we're going to get into some sewing once I've finished folding a few of these. Um, whenever someone subscribes on my channel, I make an origami star with their name in it. I'll write their name on the strip of paper, fold up the star, and it goes into this cup. Um, so I was working on some of these from a while ago that I never got around to folding. And then we're going to work on sewing. The sewing is the main project for tonight. Oh, get in there. There's these tiny tabs and it just, it's not a good time. Let me zoom in on this cause I can. Some nitties, that's a fun name. Um, what are you up to this evening? Oh, thank you so much for following. That's excellent. Thank you, thank you. You're knitting. What are you knitting? Um, there. Pumpkins. Oh, I guess, I guess it will be pumpkin season soon. Soon, TM. But not yet. Yesterday I went, um, I had an appointment and after my appointment, I popped into this Goodwill that's just close to that place. And some woman was buying, she's buying something. I, I'll be honest, I didn't quite commit to memory what the something was because she like, I'd been waiting in line for like 25 minutes, no joke because the employee running the registers was taking their beloved sweet time, I guess. Um, but this woman walks up to like the front of the line of people and she's like, oh, I got this thing. I want to use it to make cute pumpkins. And I don't know what the thing was, but she's like, but I didn't want to buy it today. I want to wait until tomorrow when it Facebook Friday because they give you like a coupon on Fridays or something if you like their Facebook page. I don't know. Anyway, so this woman has walked up to the front of the line and cutting off every single person in line to say this thing to the cashier. And then the cashier is like, oh, there's a woman who comes in like almost every day and she loves these things. So you're lucky that you must have been in on an off day where she isn't here and you got this. So I don't know, they were like talking about like stashing this item for this customer to come back tomorrow, which would have been today to get it. I don't fucking know. So weird. And then it was finally my turn. And all I had, I bought I was buying two shirts. That's it. I get up there. And as soon as I like open my mouth and be like, hi, how's like, you know, nice normal things you say to people. She immediately, the, the cashier person, she like pieces out and she like leaves the cash register area. I don't know where she went and where she was doing, but she left without saying anything. And she went off to some like other part of the store for a good few minutes and had to wait for her to come back. I don't, I don't know. That was my experience. It's not a great Goodwill store. They don't have, they never have anything good. It's weird because it's, um, in this one part of town where the, like, it's, it's technically a different city because there's like three cities that are all smashed together here. Um, but it's in this other city technically. And generally the people who live in this city think really highly of themselves. Like it's a joke all around everywhere here. So it's surprising to me that their Goodwill is so shitty. I don't know what the deal is, but anyway. That's my 
non-exciting story that I was reminded of from pumpkins. You're welcome or not. I'm sorry. Um, some nitties. What, um, is there a short version, a shorter version of your name that you like to be called? Like nitty or T or I don't know, whatever you prefer. I'm pretty good about remembering things like that, I think. Five, seven, all right, three more, three more. Well, when Christian isn't here tonight, I was feeling like something was missing. I think that's what it is. Never works. Or easy about that. All right. I might go with nitty just because it is, I don't know, it seems easier to say. What kind of things do you normally like to make? Do you, is knitting the main type of thing you like to do or? I know a lot of people will do like only crochet or only knitting. Some people do both. Some people do both of those and all kinds of other things. I don't know. I saw a pattern earlier today for a cheeseburger hat. I saved it because I thought it might be a lot of fun. But then I was like, wait, who would wear a cheeseburger hat? And then I was like, oh, right. The pattern says it's for like children. That makes sense. I just want to make things that other people would want to have. And I, I have figured out that my problem is that I don't know what kind of items are things that people would want to have that are also things that I could make. So that's my issue. Back to the map. Um, there's other shit. What was it? Range units. I don't know what I'm doing with that, so we'll just figure it out. Um. Sure, let's go with that. Whatever. Lots of knitting. I just started trying crochet for the first time in 15 years last night. So you might do more of that. Wow. I have never crocheted. And then earlier this year, like a couple months ago, maybe I s decided to teach myself how to crochet. And it, um, yeah, it's been interesting. I recently made I recently made this fried egg, this fried egg, and this little pomegranate thing. It's the wrong color. The pomegranate is like red, red, not like that maroon type color, but it's fine. It's for practice. That reminds me, could you sew a new band in my hat? I don't know. What, um, what, what do you mean by band? What kind of hat? Can you like post pictures in Discord showing me what you're talking about? And then that would give me a better idea if it's something I could do. Why would you want to send your hat all the way over here to get it fixed though? But yes, depending on the pictures and what's going on with it, I would certainly at least try my best. I think I'm pretty good at fixing things, but it, of course, depends on what the thing is. Um, what else is going on? I got new glasses, finally. Can't find anyone around here that can do it. Well, yeah, no worries. Post a pic, I'll take a look. Happy to try to help where I can. 
But if you have to send your hat to someone to get it fixed, what are you going to do in the meantime without your hat? Because, like, I thought, I thought that thing was, like, perma-attached to your head. I'm pretty sure you alluded some to something similar yourself. <laughs> I'll take a look, though. So I made this egg. The yolk on it is a bit, like, 3D, so I don't know. I have to, like, push that down more because I think it looks a little weird. But because of the egg, um, chat, chat was inspired and they wanted me to make more breakfast foods. So I will make some more breakfast foods and I'll make some more like foods in general because it's fun. So today, that's what I went to get yarn for. I went back to the idea store. That's the craft reuse place. I went back to the idea store. Try to get some yarn that would be appropriate to make bread or toast. Um, and some yarn to make bacon. Um, some yarn to make like an orange slice. I was just googling like amigurumi breakfast foods. And some of the pictures had orange slices. And I hadn't thought of that before, but it looked pretty cute. So why not? Alright, I will click that in a moment. Oh wow, I started this one and then just set it there. Way to go. Let's see. Oh. Huh. Um, what is it made out of? What is the band made out of? It usually is, but it's finally completely busted, so you had to plot a different one. Oh man. Let me see. Let me do some Googling to see what's involved in that. Leather. Hmm. I have not officially done any leather working. Just pointing that out there. Oh, that's the sweat band, right? The sweat band is the cloth band inside of the hat. Um, it's located at the base of the crown and completely encircles the inside of the panel. Yeah, so that is like the sweatband of the hat. It's tra a traditional part of all hats and caps and goes usually around the forehead to catch sweat that drips off of your face. I guess it makes sense that it would be one of the first parts to go since sweat and all that salt is going to corrode the leather pretty quickly. How long have you had the hat? Let's see. Fitting it. 15 years. Wow. I'd say it definitely has lasted lasted pretty pretty well before anything wore out on it. Let's see. Today I learned there's a website called thefedoralounge.com. Edgelord Central. Hmm. Yay. Let's see. Is the what is the is the hat made of leather or is the hat made of felt? Neck beard bar? Mm, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people jump on the neck beard train for that, but I think it, I don't, I don't know. My brain doesn't make that connotation with like the Fedora Edgelord people. I know what you're saying, and I know there are plenty of like neck beard people in that circle of the Venn diagram. I just haven't necessarily run into them. Okay, so the hat is felt, sweatband is leather. Let's see. Like reading some forums and stuff to see. If there's an easier way to do this. Oh, so they're like upholstery thread, craft needles, and stab at it, which is, yeah, it's doable. Hmm. 
me look up the website that they are referencing. That's the wrong kind of hat band. Um, I wasn't expecting a deep dive Marvel. I'll get back to you. I can. I can get back to you. <laughs> the thing, the thing is, my brain never passes up a good opportunity to be like, but wait, let's find out right now. Ah! I mean, you've, you've been here for a little bit. You should know by now. <laughs> it's fine. I just wanted to see what was involved in it, but yes, I can, I can in fact get back to you. No worries. <sighs> we'll just keep that tab open for, for later. I should, it's been a long week, your brain is fried. I get it. You're fine. Your goal while you're here is to not think. And I, I mean, I'd like to facilitate how that as much as I can. I don't know how much I can actually help with that, but that's the goal that I want for you. It's to not think. Did you get around to opening the patch that I sent before, before the, the other thing happened? And I hope, I hope that didn't get messed up in the water also. But obviously, in the grand scheme of things, that's not important. But I was curious. All right, this will be the last star. Oh, amazing. Got this star done. And it's exactly a one hour of uptime. Timing, timing. I did it. I did a perfect timing. I was thinking like, oh, I should do these in 30 minutes. And then I'm like, right, but we're talking and chatting and that's not going to happen. And I was like, it's probably going to take me an hour to do them. And I finished them on the one hour exactly mark. Boom. Okay. Still over the visor in my truck. Nice. Very nice. No worries. Why is it not so good? It doesn't make any sense. Little Basil, you're so sweet. Mm, I just love you. Ah, all right. So I guess we should change gears to doing the sewing thing. Oh, I have to set an alarm. Hold up. Hold up. One sec. 8.45. Three. 8 plus 3 is 11. I finally got a new phone this week to upgrade my potato phone. But, ow! It's weird. New phones are weird. Moral of the story. Never get new things. Just keep the same old shit forever. Just kidding. Don't do that. Change can be okay. Everybody likes new things, right? Ow. Ow. I smacked my ankle on the chair. Pain was had. This needs to go in the other room. All right. 
Um, I have to move a few things so we can do the sewing game. Old broken things are better than new things that work. Old broken things are better than new things that work? What? What? Maybe sometimes, but there, that cannot be universally true. There's no way. Absolutely no way. Because, like... The Futurama thing. Oh, okay. I was waiting for the explanation because in my head I was just thinking, like, if that's true, why did you just haul away three dump trucks worth of stuff if old broken things are better than new things that work? That's immediately where I went. Zarsu, hello. Welcome in, new friend. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the garden. That's, um, well, the garden is the Discord, but. I guess all of this, I guess the whole community is the garden, so welcome. This is some new yarn I got today. New to me. Um, yep. All right, the paper bag is on the floor. The cat might go... Basil doesn't... She doesn't, like, run into paper bags as much, but Fiona loves them. She... Yes, she loves them a lot. This is the, the backside of my certificate for making the Dean's List last semester. I was in... Oh, it says... The College of Aces, Dean's List, and the College of Aces is the College of Agricultural Consumer... Mm, ed, no, it's not educational. Agricultural Consumer... Something? And something sciences. I forget. Wow! How did I forget that? Because the E is environmental. Agricultural consumer and environmental sciences. And I'm the envir I'm an environmental science major. Why? Why did I forget that one? I don't know. Um, anyway. <laughs> How embarrassing. Your achievement places you among the top students in the College of Agri- It's also written right here on the goddamn thing. Your achievement places you among the top students in the College of Agricultural Consumer and Environmental Sciences at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. The Dean's List are those who earned a semester GPA that places them in the upper 20% of their class in their college for the spring 2021 semester. Let me go put that somewhere. All right, that's up. Really, I had a 4.0 for this semester because I've had a 4.0 like since I went back, started going back to school in 2016, but when I transferred to the university, they, they, um, they consider all college level courses you've taken ever. So like when I very first ever tried to do college courses in like 2007, 2008, 2009, and I got a lot of really bad grades, they include all of that. So it really like brings down your average, but I am determined. I just wanted to dump these out. I don't know why I need to move a couple things so we can do sewing. So I'll be like out of frame a little bit. I hope that's okay. Mm -hmm. We'll just set that there. Can't go turn off the light, I forgot about. Okay. Um, I'm going to close this and move it. It's, it's easier to not make people see thick. Why, oh, wait, is that how I did that? Yes. Ow! Ow! Fuck. Sometimes things bend fast. Ow. And it pinches fingers. 
Jesus. I'm not a clumsy person, but damn if I'm not good at pinching my fingers and things. All right, so that should be better. Nope. Oh, I have to flip it. I always forget to flip it. One day, I will get off my butt and I will make a separate scene for when I'm sitting in my sewing machine. But today is not that day. I think that's fine. It needs to be up a little more if I recall correctly. Because otherwise when I stand up, like, it's not good. Because then my, ha my head is cut off. So this is the cover. I need to turn on the light too. So we've got this. This is what we're going to be sewing. Hmm. Oh, that's part of the problem. Lighting is difficult sometimes. That's fine. Then I don't need a tripod adapter. You had to fold up. This is the this is the original cover for the serger. This plastic thing. So I'm just folding it up to try and store it back inside the machine if it will fit. It's a very tiny compartment for all of the accessories that came with it. I suspect it will be not narrow enough. Go. But if that fits in there, then the other stuff doesn't. That slides. Okay, great. But like, I thought the other one would come up as well. It doesn't. Okay. That's not going to go there. I'm going to hang out next to the machine. And then when I put the cover on the machine, I will just put that in the pocket. Yep. All right, let me raise this up. And then I'll flip this one on and then turn off the face one, face camera. It took a while to get this pinned correctly. Why camera? Oh, that's the wrong one. Hmm. So we close that, we open this one, why you no work? Oh, because I did that. Okay, properties. I'm so sick of these other cameras, they just never want to work. I'm going to have to delete it completely and then re-add it. Let's see. Um, do that. There it is. Sometimes OBS shit is just weird. Okay, well, that 
that's too far. That should work. Okay, cool. No, move over. All right, that's fine. We will go with that. Oh, there's also a laptop over here that needs to move. is the thing we are after oh that's the problem i was like why is this so close because it's still zoomed in that's the reason so much better i was just like this isn't normally like this what is what is problem because i recently have been trying to make a point to use the zooming in feature sometimes which means another camera can come back the other way. Cool. Now everything is where it should be. Wonderful. Um, yeah. What was that? Um, I'm going to run to the restroom and I'll come back and then we can start sewing, I guess. So I'm going to throw a BRB screen up and I'll be right back in just a minute.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I neighbors they knock on your door at weird times of day. I was supposed to be quick, and then the doorbell rang, and then it was not quick. Mm, let's take care of this quickly. Susan Lee, thanks for joining us, and Bakos, hello. Dinosaur Pride, what a lovely name. To STV2, hi. Dinosaur without shirts. Such two two different dinosaurs. This is great. I enjoy those. I almost forgot that like when school is in session I end up getting like at least 50 emails every day and it sucks because I I was all I had I had my email inbox like almost down to having no unread emails I was down to five unread that I had been, just been keeping around to deal with later and then in the last like three days since Wednesday I think I've had no less than 30 every day too much too damn much Uh, where are all of these at? 17. Wow, really? So these are all level 20, and the closest one is at 17. Wow, I've got a ways to go. A little bit. Okay, so we're placing... Busters. Oh, I did these things. Cool. Um, over here. All right. So, can't use that. Um, I guess we will start placing this one. Or are you saying time to up the spam filter settings? Oh, but it's not even spam. That's the thing. It's not spam emails. It's just all emails from my university. <laughs> which really sucks they said i just get way too much shit like every single class that i'm taking sent out emails um every single class i'm taking send out emails either like yesterday or wednesday it's just like when you work at a really shitty job like a shitty minimum wage job and your boss is like can you start working a few minutes earlier before you clock in like the fuck is wrong with you? No, that's illegal. I'm not working before I clock in. Go fuck yourself. But also, like, no, I'm not starting school shit before school starts on Monday. Go fuck yourself. I'm not doing it. Just not gonna happen. Uh, close that. Let's open this so I can see the chat on my tablet. So there's at least one email from every single class that I'm in there's other like reminder emails about school related things i don't even know but it none of it none of it is spam which sucks okay so the twitch app is updating toss that over here Basil, what what are you doing, you goof? Getting into trouble. All right. Now we have chat up here. All right, cool. Um, what color thread are we working with? <laughs> oh, that's the wrong one. Dashboard. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I have black thread in here. What was I sewing with black thread? What was I even making? I don't know. I fixed, I fixed something? What was I doing? What did I have that thread for? 
it's gonna bug me it's not like hugely important but like what was it a hat no the hat was sewn with white thread sounds like spam to me but then again i send emails from my own family to the spam folder oh my gosh you would i also i don't i don't send emails from my family to the spam folder but i do delete them so not far behind No, what I was sewing. What the hell was it? It was not the hat. It's gonna be it's gonna be some dumb thing. But I couldn't tell you what it was. I also don't get many emails from my family. The only family emails I get is like periodic emails from my mother that she sends out to like these long lists of people to tell them about all the colonizing and religious indoctrination she is doing to these people in china super great this goes in the sewing box i will i will put that up later we're just gonna be messy about it we want green uh nope i have not sewn any shorts either I haven't sewn any shorts. I have no idea what it was. Okay. Oh, there's the little hole to shove the thread through, but there's no room for that. So we're just going to tape it and hope for the best. Got that. We got a green bobbin. That's good too. <laughs> um, so we need to go this way. I don't know where to put this in the meantime. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's really loud. One second. I have no idea what is so hilarious, but I'm glad I'm glad they're having a great time with um I was gonna say World of Warcraft, but I think they're playing Final Fantasy, whatever the current big online one is. I really want to plug in my lamp. But I uh I don't know if there's a way to do that right now. Because there's just not enough light. Let me see. Let me try something. Um, carrying something always means climbing under the desk. That goes here. That around the side. Let's see. Basil, no, not right now. That is the lamp. I'm gonna unplug it. Basil. No, we have power cords, not for kittens. Okay. Oh. Now, let there be light. Or something. Maybe that helps, I don't know. Anyway, I want some of what he's on. He is on nothing. Nothing? I don't know. He hasn't had any edibles because he has to come to me to get those. Um, I don't think he's even had a beer. So, yeah. I mean, I on life. Jk, Jk. Our house. We've both been kind of just like long-term pandemic mega bummed. So I don't know. I'm glad they're having fun. I also, I mean, I was gonna say, I wish I could laugh at all the things other people laugh at, but that was like, wait, that's like depressing real talk. Let's not do that. 
But like sometimes people will think that I don't have a sense of humor or something because I don't laugh at whatever thing everyone else is laughing at. But I do have a sense of humor, I promise. It's just different. I need the seam ripper too. Well, I don't know. Okay, I don't know that I need the seam ripper. I hope I don't actually need it. But I was feeling like I should just bring it over here, but it's already up here in the spot where I keep it. I don't laugh out loud that often. Same, same. I'll give a polite semi-smile. Yes, I'm, I think I'm good at that one. Yeah, I don't do the, I don't do the laugh out loud thing very often, but sometimes it might also be, that might also be related to the fact that when I was a child, I did not know how to laugh properly. Like when you laugh, generally people laugh and they like you breathe outward while you're laughing. <clears throat> I didn't do that. I would laugh, but I would like inhale air every time. So then it would be like, I would just end up like, I don't know, hyperventilating or it would sound like somebody having an asthma attack or something. I'm not even sure how to describe it, but yeah, I could not laugh properly. And my siblings had to like teach me <laughs> more things that are like, wait, how did we not figure out that I was autistic all this time? How did we not know? Because there were just so many fucking signs. Bobbin is in. Can you make the child peeps laugh sound? Probably not. Probably not. I'd, ra I'd rather not try. Just imagine somebody like wheezing like inward, but also trying to laugh, but not knowing how. Not, not great. Not a great sound. Let's move this over here. That's bright, but there's just like a whole bunch of shadow over here. So I was hoping that like this would help, but oh, that's just really bright in my face. Nobody wants to see that. Oh, my eyeballs. I'm blind now. It's cool. Super great. I love seeing spots. <laughs> Um, okay, moving beverages, important things, you know? Okay, let's try and sew a thing, I guess. Basil, you cannot sit under the desk, dear. She's like sitting right where the foot pedal for the sewing machine is. That just doesn't work. What is that? Oh, there's like blue plastic from making that hat prototype. Cat is in bag. Do you, oh, okay. Let's just, hold on, field trip. There you go, cat in bag, camera. Enjoy. You're off to bed, Zell. Good night, friend. Um, I hope, I hope things improve somehow for you very soon. I will message you about the hat. I think it should be doable. It looks pretty simple to me, uh, but I will try to remember to message you about it. So get some rest. I hope you sleep well. And thanks for, thanks for stopping in. Solid. I don't know if she's gonna come like bounding out of the box or if she's just gonna like curl up and take a nap in there. I have no idea. Okay. So I'm also debating, I did just change the thread 
I'm also kind of debating putting the white thread back in the sewing machine and um, just going over this with looser stitches to hold it in place because these pins are going to make it a pain in the ass. And then if I go over it with the loose like basting stitches, then I can go back with the tighter stitches to solidify it. I mean, I heard there was some yarn that could get involved. No, my cats do not play with yarn because so the thing about string and cats is that they can eat that string and cats tongues are like Velcro and they have all these little hooks on them. So once they start eating something like that, they can't just they can't just like chew off, chew the end of it and cut it off and swallow it like a piece of spaghetti that doesn't work that way. They will eat it and then it will get twisted up in their intestines and kill them or you have to have emergency surgery to pull that string out of their intestines. So my cats don't play with yarn. Not like that. Plus, I just spent money on all this yarn and it's like really nice natural fibers. So I don't, nah, not doing that. You're gonna try and get some sleep. Have a good night, everyone, Cage. Thank you for hanging out. It's always lovely to have you. Get some rest, sweet dreams. Um, I hope that you are successful in your goals for tomorrow. My goals for tomorrow entail trying to pick up a small end table from someone in Marketplace. They had a really nice, it's some mid-century design. It's a smaller table, but it looks really cool. It kind of has like a Haywood Wakefield look about it, which is why I'm like, ah, oh, fingers crossed that I can get over there. And it's only five bucks, so if it's not great, who cares? Um, and then the other goal is that we're supposed to go to Ikea tomorrow which is like a whole ordeal road trip thing because we do not live near an Ikea. It's always like a three hour drive. I'm going to do, I'm going to do the other thread because I think it would be smarter to do it this way. Oh, she left. I think it will be a prudent decision to go with the looser stitches in a different color and then I can either yank them out or just sew over them rather than potentially wasting a bunch of this green thread and this is the only spool I have of the green thread that perfectly matches this fabric. Okay so now now the question is where is the white thread? I think I put it away. Basil are you done in the bag? you're done, I'll put it up. That, well, that'll go there, but the cover's in the way, so. One sec. Oh, maybe it's in the other box. I have a spool of white thread that's like, fuck off, make large, huge. It's like just a giant thing of thread. So, you know, you'd think that it would be more difficult to lose, but here we are. It's not lost. I just need to remember where I put it. And I suspect it to be in this box over here. But it, but it is not in here. I mean, I have other white thread, so it's not the end of the world. I just really wanted to use that one is all. Okay. Basil, get out from under the desk. Why did you start doing that? Go back in your bag. That was cute. Oh, it's right here in front of my face. Literally. Right here. <laughs> Amazing. No, you can't be there. That's where my feet go. Shoo. This cap. Okay. Found the thing. Now we get the bobbins. 
then we'll be actually good to go. There's a whole bunch of blue thread up here because I want, I still want to fix the leg on those denim shorts. But I have a bunch of blue thread because I wanted to try the method where you basically like kind of try to reweave the material kind of. I thought it seemed fun. I'll get to it one day. That's the thing, you just like continuously amass however many projects and then you just you can't ever be bored because there's always things to be done go to the side that's not supposed to break the thread but okay i see it Oh, maybe the zipper. I was doing something with the zipper. <gasps> That's what the black thread was from. I was fixing the zipper on that hoodie. Boom. Make mistakes. Hi, how are you? How's it going? Has been a minute. How are things? It's so nice to see you. Oh, that's the rayon bobbin. Fuck. You don't want rayon. Rayon is for embroidery. Just want some regular stuff. What have you been up to? If I can get it out of this box. Okay. Been busy. I think some time to relax has been rare. Yeah, for sure. I hear that, especially like with school starting up and everything. I don't know. I don't remember. I, I assume that you have kids because a lot of people do, but I don't have kids, but I am a student, so that's that's been the thing at my house. I was getting ready for that to start up on Monday. Okay, machine is threaded. Bobbin is in. We're set. Wake up, commute, work, commute, sleep, repeat, ugh. No children other than me. Very nice, very nice. What, um, if, if it's all right to ask, what kind of work do you do? I generally don't like to ask people about their work because I think that sucks. Like, I don't know. If you, it's like if you're at a party or something and you are introduced to new people, I never ask people what they do. I'd rather ask them about like their hobbies or what they like to do for fun or like if they've been learning new th interesting things lately or just anything else because asking somebody how they pay their bills is like, that sucks. <laughs> and we are worth more than our productivity under capitalism, but whatever. All right, we're ready to go. So I've been working on this serger cover for kind of a million years give or take or a few months off and on i finally got it read i say redone i had to i had to kind of resize it because the default size that was the default size that was made based on the pattern was too large for my machine so i wanted to rework it and make it fit a bit more snugly so it looked nicer but the pinning portion of it was just a pain in the butt but i think i've got it i've got it pinned correctly the problem is going to be getting it to sew and lay flat and behave nicely i was more interesting but you know that part already your title is it project manager it's just BS code for a problem solver for everyone. Anyway, fair enough. Fair enough. You have a title, but yes, there are some, some people who end up being the person who like, if, if that other person doesn't know, Hey, try that guy down the hall. He usually, he usually knows things. I get it. I get it. Kind of the catch all. 
I have, I have also been that person. All right, so we're gonna sew things on the purple line. We're also hoping that the lower parts stay together. So this is the piping, which needs to stay put. This purple line right here, the bottom is not marked, but again, hoping they don't fuck it up. This probably should move back. That's me. 13 years at this company. That's pretty good. Are these the overalls? The overalls I'm wearing. I don't know about the overalls. What are you talking about? Are they famous? Is this a thing? Have the overalls become a proper now? <laughs> Has their fame preceded them? Jesus. Um, like the ones you post on Instagram. Oh, these are just overalls that I've owned for a while and I just really enjoy wearing them. They're super comfortable. Um, the overalls I posted on Instagram. No, those are some I stumbled upon today and I really want a pair because I really like... I really like the structure of them and like, I don't know, the structure and style of them seems well made, comfortable, and also looks good. A lot of overalls are like, I don't know, I feel like they just end up looking frumpy, especially around like the hips kind of. They just like too much material ends up being used. I don't know. It's a thing. I am not making any. Maybe down the road, maybe that'll be a project down the road. I I have never made clothing, actually. Um, not from scratch, anyway. I have mended clothing, I've mended clothing, and I have modified clothing and, like, tailoring and stuff. But I've never just flat out made anything. I usually just end up making unconventional non-clothing things. Ash and Chain, hello! Hi, welcome in! How are you tonight? Okay, so we're gonna try it. We're gonna go. We're gonna do the thing. I'm gonna stop talking about it. I'm gonna do the thing. I'm just getting nervous because I don't want to fuck it up. Let's see what we can do. I just wish there was an easier way to make sure all the pieces get held together properly during the sewing process because sometimes like you can't can't just go holding a finger under the needle plate that just doesn't work we're gonna adjust our stitch we want it to be a loose stitch but not too loose mm, actually so these are 20 millimeters i need my ruler i have i'm a very visual thinker thinking in pictures some might say but i have to i have to i have to be able to see it otherwise i don't i can't see it i can't like manipulate it in my head and know where i need to go so it's kind of annoying oh yeah 20 millimeters duh that's two centimeters that's way too much so we want those to be i'm gonna do 10 millimeters that'll be fine maybe even five we can do five. That's a very large stitch, but that's still a lot looser than the final stitch that I would do, and it'll hold it together nicely. While the other thing is like on the basting stitch setting, it kind of moves, the needle will like move itself along with like the presser foot will just move the needle along. And sometimes it's more automatic than what I would like. Not bad, just crafting and watching Twitch, absolutely. Sounds like a good Friday night to me. What kind of crafting are you doing? And and what kind of streams do you normally like to watch? We are finishing up this cover. Um, we're finishing up this cover for my serger that was started a while ago. Lurking off to bed, no worries. Glad to catch you even for a short while. Be more friend of likewise. Make mistakes. It was so nice to catch up with you a tiny bit. Um, be well, be safe. Thank you so much for stopping by. Sweet dreams, so on and so forth. 
Mm, wait, do I want it there or do I want this here? Actually, I should probably use the zipper foot. Okay. I'll probably switch to the zipper foot because of the piping. The piping ends up messing with things, but I just... I just don't want to use the piping foot. So, fuck it. We're not going to do that. Hopefully, this will cooperate. You're finishing up a chainmail waistcoat. Oh my goodness. Wow. Holi oh, holiday Santa. At first, so I had to tap on that emote to see what it actually was because I thought I was so sure it was going to be like your face when you do your Santa thing at Christmas time. But maybe, maybe that's the seasonal one. Almost always watch Makers and Crafting. It is the best kept secret on Twitch, I'm sure. What kind of Makers and Crafting do you like to see? Do you have any pictures of... Do you have any pictures of this chainmail waistcoat? Because that sounds um, that sounds absolutely amazing. I would love to see it if you have any photos you'd want to share. Now we got a slide, the pit. I always call them pins, the clip. I don't know if I'm ever gonna stop messing those up and switching the words around. Um, but the problem, the problem I have with the clips is getting them out of the way fast enough before the needle comes back down. That's my beef with them. What if we? just no way to get this any closer. I'm gonna get more of these Logitech cameras so I can get rid of these Microsoft ones because I'm sick of them. We haven't been to a knitting group in a year and a half so Twitch has been filling in. It's so good for that. So you like to knit as well? That's awesome. That's really awesome. In my in my discord we like well we have a voice chat and sometimes it's nice if you're just working on something to like jump into voice chat with some other people who are also just like hanging out working on stuff and like it kind of gives that vibe of like knitting circle or just hanging out with friends and that's also the vibe i try to go for in my streams is like the mood for my streams is like everyone just come over to my house casual evening bring whatever you're working on we'll all hang out at the kitchen table have some snacks or drinks or whatever and just like shoot the shit and work on what we're working on and just enjoy the company and all that so you're in the right place for sure i'm kind of new to these types of streams to makers and crafting welcome but i recently got interested in watching people make bags for people touring by bicycle oh like saddle bags that's really cool so i assume your name is pronounced cycle then welcome in you friend especially when you're working on a section that's kind of mindless yeah Yes. I enjoy the mindless bits of projects. I find them far more relaxing. They're also just the easier, they're also so easy to miscount or mess up. <laughs> At least I find that to be the case. All right. I know there's a stream raiders battle. I will get to that in a moment. Let me at least do a couple more stretches of this sewing business because that is the reason we are here tonight. People make me talk and well, then nothing gets done, but that's okay. I don't mind. I should definitely use the zipper foot. Maybe I'll switch to the zipper foot once I get to, after this go around, when I go back with the real, the real thread, not the fake thread, to make the tighter stitches. Maybe I will do the zipper foot for that. Because I just have to pull out these clips every inch or so and it's tedious. That's how you say it. Yay! Clyde, hi! Hello. How's it going?
We're almost two hours in and I'm finally starting on the sewing. Because first, first I made 10 stars, which took exactly one hour. There were distractions that happened. But I finished making stars on the exactly one hour mark, which was really perfect. Okay, so I took the pins out, but now I have to make sure that this sews on the right line, which becomes more challenging. Mm. I guess, I guess that's what we want. Now it's getting up to the curved area and that's the part that is the most challenging on this. I also cannot see the area with the piping. I can't see the piping. So it gets tricky. That plus there's just not a lot of room on this desk. Sewing machine is here. The desk is like 23, it's like 23 or 23 and a half inches deep, like that way. And then the cameo like cutting machine takes up that other corner it's a whole thing soon though oh maybe that's what i should do so i just got back from home depot got a light for the shop oh did you get the light that i have the one that had the impressive review and then the picture of my workspace that makes it look like a movie set because it's so fucking bright I wish there was a way to like disable one of the lights in the whole fixture just because sometimes it is too bright and it like washes out the light below. Okay, so where is the piping? Right down here, I think. I think that's the piping. I don't fucking know. Well, we're gonna sew on it and hope, hope I'm in the right place. Oh, that's where it is. Okay. I think so. It's the one I initially sent you a link to. Oh, that is, I think that is not the one that I have. Cause then I sent you the link to the one that I have. And then I sent you the links once I set up my lights and you were like, holy shit, what light is that? And then I was like, it's this one which was not the one that you originally linked. But I'm sure that one is also fine. So we need to stay on this line. What is that? Oh, maybe that's a zip tie. I think I'm hitting a zip tie. So we want this. Okay, where is it? Maybe I do want to switch to the zipper plot. It's right here. I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh wait, I can't. Never mind, I can't switch to the zipper foot while I'm in the middle of sewing. That's not really a thing, because then you have to break the thread. Which I mean, I could do. I just didn't want to do it. Fuck it, we'll do it. So if we're sewing, then we need to go there and do a left right shift. Cause on this foot, the, the needle goes into a little inlet area. I guess that's fine. Let's get that battle out of the way.
Let's take a look. Okay. I went back and checked. I sent you two links to lights and we both got the second link. <laughs> so you have the same light. Nice. I guess that, I guess that, that works then. I did not realize that the one ended up being one of the ones that you sent. Um, what was I going to say? There was something I was talking about. What was it? Um, oh, the lady tomorrow, she has this table that I want. That's $5. And then we also have to go to Ikea, but going to Ikea is a whole thing and road trip because it's like three hours in any direction to get to Ikea. But I was going to go, Basil, that's my chair. Good luck with that. Get down. Hey. Fucker. She just likes to climb around the desk when there's stuff on the desk. Anyway. um, So I was going to Ikea to get the sit-stand desk that like hand cranks. Because it's supposed to be very, very good to get rid of this wobbly piece of shit. Um, and then this afternoon, um, locally on Facebook Marketplace. Basil, jump down from right here. Ding dong. On Marketplace this afternoon, someone posted a sit-stand desk that um, has the electronic up-down controls. And she said it was in, like, basically brand new condition and everything. And it was, like, 250 new. And she said she was open to offers. So I'm wondering if I could get it for, like, uh, if I can... She dropped it to 180 already. Originally it was 200. So I was like, if there's some way that I could get her to drop it to like 100 bucks, then I could buy her desk, but I could also get the one I wanted from Ikea, and then both of my desks could be sit stand desks. That would be fucking cool. But that could also just be too much. Because <laughs> I don't mind this other desk as a sewing desk, even though my actual sewing desk is going to be the one that's in the garage. I'm always switching out my desk. It's just a thing. Once you're in Ikea, it's three hours in any direction to get anywhere else, like the checkout. <laughs> this is also true. Also completely true. Easy to get lost in. It can be. It can be. I haven't been to an Ikea in, I don't know, maybe almost two years. I think the last time we went to Ikea was in September of, um, I want to say 2019, because September 1st was when we drove to Ohio to buy my car. We found the car at like seven o'clock that night. And then by like 11 PM, we were like, let's drive through the night to Ohio. So then we can just go buy the car first thing in the morning. Cause we'd been looking for this car for a long ass time. Um, and then after we were done at the car dealership, we went to Ikea because there was an Ikea right there. And then my partner proceeded to lose the keys to the brand new car. Well, not brand new car, but the brand new to us car, the car we just bought. He proceeded to lose the key in Ikea. That was like a super amazing 15 minutes of my life. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we went to Ikea and got a few things that day, but like, that was, that was the last time I've been to an Ikea. I sniff out the meatballs. I have never had Ikea meatballs because I cannot eat them. So, eh, I don't think I'm missing out. But yes, that's true. The meatballs are near the exit. Back to here. They're a little too sweet for me. I have had some meatballs like that that are too sweet. And I don't, I don't think meat should ever have sweet flavoring. It's gross. I don't think it should ever have a sweet flavor or like a fruity flavor, which I know the fruit with meat thing. I think that's a very like English or British thing. And could be wrong, but that's, 
that's the association my brain makes with it. I have a, here's, here's a fun thing. I have a fucking pimple in my ear. It's kind of miserable and it hurts so fucking bad. What about barbecue? What about barbecue? All right, so we're stepping back over to this. I put the I put the zipper foot back on it, which should help um, keep track of where the piping is. Let me make sure that we've got that. Yep. All right, so we'll start again on this curve. Yeah, barbecue should also not be sweet. I agree with that for sure. Yup. No sweet meats. Thanks. Thanks. I hate it. So at the moment, I'm kind of torn. I wanted to get the desk that I was going to Ikea to get. We wanted to get a couple other things there anyway, but, and also just to like get out of the house and get out of town for an afternoon. Um, but now that this other one has popped up, I feel like, I also feel like I should pick up that one because like, I'm all for buying used things as long as they work well, because I'd rather it not like end up in a landfill or something. So I told the lady I would mull it over. I don't know. We'll see. But she seems like really easygoing. So maybe she'll. But also like the town that she's from. People there are like. A lot of people who live in that town are like kind of bougie. Like she might. She might be willing to go lower because she just doesn't care. I don't know. We'll see. Because it would be really nice to have multiple work surfaces that can be raised and lowered. I would like that a lot. Sorry, I'm like super blocking this camera. I. I don't know, this camera is not in the ideal location today, but sometimes it's just the way it is. Okay, it started going on top of the piping, which is not what we're after. I found a forever desk oh, eight years ago. Oh, at Home Goods. Wow. So what what made it a forever desk for you? I would love to find a forever desk. And that just is a very daunting prospect, I think. Solid Oak, real furniture brand. Oh, only 150 bucks. Very nice, very nice. Is it like a nice wide and deep desk or like, I think they forgot a zero, could be. Totally possible. I, I'm just so picky. I really want deep desks. I feel like I feel like it's very difficult these days to find a desk that is um, wider than 22 inches. I find that really difficult to find. Like they're out there, but it just it doesn't, I don't think it's as common. Well, I know it's not as common and I just, to me, they're hard to find. Plus needs change and such over time. Mm, I guess, yeah, I guess we're gonna just follow this line. See what happens. It's trying to like pucker, which is frustrating. 30 by 72. Wow. That's 
that's a wonderful size. That that sounds extremely ideal. Ideal. Part of me always wants like a really cool like Danish modern desk because I see a lot of them in my restoration groups and I'm like, oh man, I want one of those. But like all of those are writing desks. They didn't have computers when those were made, obviously. And I think they look really cool, but for my purposes, they're generally not practical. Um, yeah. Well, I guess I said something at the beginning of the stream, but most of the people who were here at the beginning had gone to bed. They were having early nights. Um, so we were going to be out in the garage tonight, but we're not because... Um, I have to buy a different respirator before we can continue that. Because the one I bought... The, what's that? Okay, that was a weird sound. It sounded like something falling, but also metallic. I will blame the cat. Um, but it... The respirator that I bought is a medium, and I did lots of checking on their fit size charts and fit guides and things, but it is too big. <laughs> and my preliminary Google search did not, um, did not make it, um, what am I trying to say? I was, I decided that obviously I need to look for a small and a preliminary Google search did not immediately bring anything up. So I'm kind of worried that maybe, maybe they make a medium and large, but maybe they just don't make smalls. So that's great, but I'll just have to do some checking. Make your own desk that works for you in that style. Maybe, maybe many years down the line from now. We shall see. I'm generally more a fan of fixing up something that already exists, but again, maybe some years down the line. Um, what task needs the respirator? It, so I'm restoring a mid-century coffee table um, outside in the garage. And the next steps on it are sanding and spraying sealant and other things. And those are the tasks that need a respirator. And actually, I'm going to leave that clip in place and I will add more clips on this side. Huh? I was out for a smoke and this dude came up to me all freaked out. There's a big ass snake in the hallway of the apartment. Nope. Absolutely. Nope. What the fuck, man? Is it someone's pet? What the fuck kind of snake was it? All snakes are big no. Hell no. Like, he just came up to tell you about it? Was they close to your place? It's an outdoor place. Ugh. Nope. Nope, nope. Don't like that. What kind of snake is it, though? Is this, like, someone's pet? What, like... Oh, Jesus. I don't know. It was black mostly. Got a whole video. Do not post that in Discord. I will delete it. I don't... I want to see it, but I don't want to see it. I hate snakes so much. Just in case you were going to. Don't. Please don't. I recently bought a house. Getting a garage and a craft room for the first time ever. I can't wait to move it. That's exciting. Con congratulations, Ash. That's really exciting. Oh yeah, you did hold a snake. Fine, you can post it. Hmm. Giving you permission to post it in the Pix channel in Discord, but I'm not happy about it. You said there are no rules. I didn't say anything about rules just now. I just requested that he not post it, and then I changed my mind. Don't come at don't come at me about rules. 
Don't even. So snakes should be allowed within reason, but I also, like, expect people to be courteous and, like, don't trigger other people's phobias, you know? Yes, if you do a spoiler, that would be great, because, yeah. Like, I'll probably look at it, but I will be very happy that it's hidden the rest of the time. Um, Ash, yeah, congrats on buying a house. That's really exciting. My partner and I have been trying to buy a house since February. We have looked at almost every single house that has gone up for sale in our city <laughs> since then. And... We live in one of those absolutely insane housing markets where, like, houses stay on the market for, like, 12 hours. And if you dare to take even 15 minutes to think about it, you can kiss that house goodbye. It's fucking bullshit. Um, what the fuck is this? Why is it doing We made offers on... How else did we make offers on? We've made offers on three houses or two and a half we were starting we started to write up the paperwork with our realtor on the last one and then they were like oh there's already a pending offer somebody else made one fucking stupid and that house is gonna get fucking ruined Let's make sure this lines up and doesn't get too off. No, reverse. Ah! That's not good. Well, broke a fucking needle. Yay. Having a place to spray paint or do dusty work would be really nice. Oh, for sure, for sure. It's too long, sorry. More server boosts, everybody. That's what buying was like for us. No contingencies, no inspections. Yep. And then everyone tells you like, never buy a house unless you can do an inspection. But then if you bother to do an inspection, you can't buy the house. So like, what the fuck are you supposed to do? It doesn't make any sense. Luckily, where I live, most of the time, the sellers have had the house pre-inspected, which is nice. Like, I don't know why, but that seems to be the culture around here, which is great. Because otherwise, like, what, what are you supposed to do? Shit is bananas. Although, supposedly, depending on what you read, maybe they're just clickbait articles. I don't know. Maybe there's some articles that are like, is this the end of the outrageous real estate market thing that's been going on? I don't know. I think those articles are just clickbait. All right. So now to find the tip of the needle that broke off. Oh, it's right here. Perfect. Yeah, that's... Um... That's not, that's not supposed to do that. And this camera is supposed to focus. Which it will do no such thing. So sick of these cameras. The last house that popped up for sale, it's like a block and a half from here. What? What the fuck? Look what the cat dragged in. Look what the cat dragged in from the cold. Hi. How have you been? I've missed you. That's so great. What a lovely surprise. Maybe, maybe this is the Friday Night Magic. Maybe this is it. Fluky, thank you so much for the resub. And it's an utter delight to have you back. More and more folks aren't going to be able to own and just have to rent. Yeah, and that's part of what's fucked up. Yeah. 
I usually take my shoes off and turn off the lights to find broken needles. It's super effective. Uh, the, the Lego method, I think we call that. The Lego method. Usually the broken needles end up... Oh, fuck. That's a very large spider. Holy shit. There's a huge spider. Let's take a look before I probably smash it. Look at this spider. You can't... Okay. It looks very small, but like compared to many other things, that is a juicy fucker. Ugh. No thank you. I need to get a new needle, but I'm gonna kill a spider first. Man, the iPad app super sucks compared to this PC. It does. It super sucks. As does mobile. Kill it with fire. Hi, Paul. You posted it. Don't needle toe. Don't needle toe spider. I don't even know what that means. Here. I don't know. Well. It's not going to focus because this camera is a piece of shit, but. The spider is about to die. Urgh. I haven't. Nah. Ew. Yuck. That's gross. There it is. Mmm. Yuck. Okay. <laughs> you did it. I am not. So I'm not normally the person that's like, ah, spiders, they must all die. Usually I'd be like, okay, relocate it outside or something. But that one is pretty large. No thanks. Gotta wipe off the wall where it was at. All better. Oh, sewing needles. Fuck. Oh. Unless they're in the other box. Mm, these are all... Oh, those are for, like, spandex. Too many things in other places. Unless they're not in here. They gave me a bunch of shit when I bought my sewing machine, including extra needles. So that's what I was digging around for. Here they are, top stitch needles. What? Gore warning. Oh, Jesus. I, please, no ban. Please, no ban. I was just trying to say hello. No, it wasn't personal. I just needed to kill the spider. And I also needed to get a new needle because I just broke a needle in the sewing machine. The chain mail, sometimes a ring slips and goes flying, leaving little dress all over the house. Oh, yeah. That's got to be painful. Now look at spider. Oh my gosh. You know what the last thing his ass? It was just trying to say hello. And that's why I said I'm normally not the type of person that's like, okay, you gotta go. Normally I leave them alone or we relocate them outside. That one was very large. And sometimes when they're large, I'm not a fan of that because like I don't want them to bite the cat or anything. The cat sleeps right there. And spider heaven now. Rest his soul, he's with Jesus. Something like that. Something like that. I'm sorry for killing the spider. I feel bad now, if that helps. 
Okay, I have to read the numbers on these needles. Fuck. Oh, at least these are organ needles. What's that? 14. 11. And what size is that? Jesus, I can't read it. I need one of those like old people magnifiers. Mm, is that also a 14? It looks like a 14, but why would I have two different types of size 14 needles? Basil, what are you doing? Oh, she's playing with a pencil sharpener. What color needle did I throw away? Oh, it's underneath the spider guts. Oh, fuck. No, don't fall further into the trash. Uh, no, the spider guts are stuck onto the needle. Fucking A. I just need to see what color it was. Ew. Alright. Hold on. Let me grab this. Out of the trash. All right, this is a silver. This is what size? Mm. Oh, this is a 10. Okay. I guess maybe I was sewing fine fabrics. I don't remember. <laughs> what? Down along high. Spider has given up weaving. Not going to try sewing. No, no, the spider is done. The spider is done. I guess we'll move up to the 11. I don't know. Everybody says that, like, picking the right size sewing needle is, like, hugely, hugely important. I never really noticed a big difference, I gotta say. It's never been a huge deal for me, and I know, like, sewing... The real sewing people are, like, would have a fit about it, but, like, I've never noticed a difference. Dan Wong, how are you? How's it going? Luki, what have you been up to in your time away? How are things? Okay, let's... Cross that back in the box. We'll put the box away later. Let's re-thread the needle and finish sewing this fucking thing. Why am I trying to sew? Why am I trying to thread the needle? We have the technology for that. So I don't have to do it. Why? I always end up trying though. Old habits die hard. You just woke up. Excellent. Oh, Ash and Chain, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much, friend. Uh, this is not all the way down, but maybe it doesn't matter. I'm gonna leave it. Okay, so this side, technically, we can leave, we can leave it alone, and try to sew the other side. What is this technology? What is what technology? Johnny, you're now a member of the Cool Kids Club. Wait, what? Why? Why? I only hand sew. Oh, you struggle with threading. Um, like threading needles for hand sewing? Um, if I mean, they make needles with bigger eyes, which helps immensely. They also make those little needle threader things. I've never used any of them, but I hear they're game changers. This is just um, on the sewing machine. It has automatic threading. Automatic. I can show you how it works if you would like to see. My alarm clock wakes me up and I punch it. That's not very nice. It's just doing what you told it to do. 
Um, yeah, I can show you how the threader works on the sewing machine. So before I'd have to like get down here and like stick the thread through the needle and it's, it can be tricky. Um, let me unthread it, but on the sewing machine, you go and you like weave it through the different channels. And then there's, there's no way to make this closer. I'm so sorry but there's two little notches that are numbered that you draw the thread through and you pull it up around the side and this lever up here, you pull it down while the presser foot is down and it threads the needle. I never had problems threading the needle before this, but it's there, so I use it. Apparently it's easy to break that feature. If you do it wrong, it can. there's a little wire that pushes the thread through the needle and it can get broken easily, apparently. Forgot to put the trash back in the trash can after I was digging through there. All right, so it's like twisted or something. Why are you twisted? So what I'm doing is going around all the seams of the cover um, with a looser stitch first, and then I'm going to go back around with a tighter stitch in the correct color. But I'm doing it this way just to make sure it will fit correctly, because working with all these pins is a huge pain. So we're going to sew it and move it that way, which means we should start on this side. And I'm going to clip the bottom of it to help it stay lined up correctly. Because a lot of times it just wants to move just enough to fuck things up. Hi, Fiona. So nice to see you. She's been coming in here and hanging out lately, which is really nice because she usually doesn't. But she went under the desk, which means she's probably going to end up biting my leg and that's going to hurt a lot. Of course, there's a battle. There's always a fucking battle. There's no biting. What are you doing? You can't go through that way, dear. She's like in between the legs of this tripod. Fiona, you can't you can't go that way, my dear. I mean you can, but it's not ideal. Hey, get out of here. Don't be a shit. Hazel, no. Let me get the spray bottle for misbehaving kitties. You go. Yeah. yeah, bye. Don't be a shit. Do you think you'll ever stop doing streamers? Yes. I don't do it all the time. I don't do it all the time. But I stopped doing it. I did stop doing it for a little while and people asked about it, so I was like, okay, I guess. Sometimes I do it and I don't leave it on the screen. She knows what the bottle is. Oh yeah. Oh, they totally know. I use it for misting certain plants and for spraying bad kitties. Basil. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah, now I have to clean up water. God damn it, cat. You spilled all of that water. Jesus. Okay, now I have to clean up. Basil, why are you like this? Uh, she was... Okay. She was on the other side. She was on the other side of that chair, like where the ironing board is right there. And there's a bowl of water for her to drink at the base of that. She was standing next to the bowl. She was like 
winding up, getting ready to pounce at Fiona. So I sprayed her and she like, it was basically like a cartoon and she spilled the entire bowl of water all over behind the chair, knocked over the ironing board, flattened the paper bag and ran out of the room, disheveled the rug in the hallway, bolted to the dining room and I think she jumped up on the table. I don't know, but that's a guess just from what I heard. Just the two cats. Yeah, we have two cats. Basil is the one who's usually in here. She's the one you usually see on stream. Fiona is our other cat. She is the original cat and she is the head bitch in charge. But Basil likes to pounce her sometimes, which is rude. No, I cannot give Basil pets. She ran out of the room. She's not here. Cannot do it. I gotta clean up some water. Oh my god. There's this whole bowl that is full of water. Now it's all over the floor. Behind the chair. Mm -hmm. I'm glad there's no longer a spider back here. What a mess. See, that's the thing. She's like really, really good, except for when she is rotten. <laughs> okay, that should work. Get rid of this towel. Hi, Fiona. Hi, pretty. Yeah, yeah, I'll stop petting you. All right. Deal with this water bowl. can leave that open. Okay. Now we should be good. We got a kitten <gasps> last summer. And the humans are now outnumbered three to two. Three is such a good number for cats though, because if you have two, yeah, they'll play together sometimes, but if they don't, then they're both bored and wanting a playmate. But usually if you have three, then at least if... At least if one of them doesn't want to play, then the other two are usually good to hang out. That's... I mean, that's my opinion anyway. As long as you've got the space for three, three is a great number. Then everybody can be happy. All right. Let's try this other side. Do you have any pictures of your kitties? You're welcome to post any pictures of them if you want. If you have any pictures to share or if not, that's all right too. Okay, this is in the way a little bit. On this side, I gotta make sure that it lines up, but the bulk of the cover being off of here, it doesn't want to sit correctly. Okay, let's try it out. Uh, oh, geez, the piping's way over there. Okay. No. 
move along. And sometimes it tries to just repeatedly sew in the same place. All right, that's, that's a bit better. Okay. Ow. Cannot wait to get a haircut. They're not broken and they get caught and it hurts. So yeah, the plan is to go over it with these wider stitches or longer stitches Hold everything in place, then go back over it with the green thread and do it up right. Does anybody have any cool stories about anything that happened this week? Big B, hi. How are you? How's your week been? Whoa. I've seen you, I mean, I know you haven't been able to hang out as much because of your work, but I've seen you on Instagram, but beyond that, not so much, so. How's things? And I got this fabric keeps it keeps curving around and the curved sections are much more difficult to deal with tired busy swamped at work tired I bet looking forward to sleeping past 5 a.m mm. I'm so sorry you have to get up that early every day. That is horrible. If I have to wake up at 5 a.m. for anything, it makes me want to puke. It is physically a horrible sensation to be awake that early. Okay, we're gonna well, no, go on that side, okay. Trying to make the line that I drew sit to the right of the piping, but it's difficult because I can't see the piping. It's totally okay, the job is wonderfully busy, so it's all good. Well, that's a good feeling then, because there's busy that sucks, and then there's like busy when it's cool things that are happening, and it's, there are times where, yes, it is a good feeling. So I'm glad that's the case for you. But even good busy is just exhausting. And it's like, why can't the good busy be like balanced out, you know? I guess that makes sense because you work at a college. So school's starting. That is the busiest time of year. That's true. It's actually illegal in my country to make someone work that early. Oh, really? What country is that? Hmm. Do you have your own country now? Is this a country that exists like, I don't know. What's the, what is the name of this country? Oh. I gotta do a move in my game. United States of where, where's, where's Sylvania? Why not where land instead of Maryland, where land? That rolls off the tongue a little bit smoother. Damn it, I fucked that up. Happens. Uh, I gotta go. Practice some magic. 
Hmm. 12 minutes. How am I 12 minutes off? It's a thing you go and you do a command every like three hours. <laughs> nope. 12.30 start. Oh, I was like, who posted things in Discord? But I'm assuming those are snake things with 22 messages after it. Ugh. Super wary world. Ah, that's a good one too. I like that. I still think wary land because it like rhymes and I think that's a good one. What other state could you rip off? Where Clo Where Oklahoma? I don't know if that works. Yeah, Ash, you're welcome to join our Discord. Absolutely. I'd love to have you. Click that link. Um the page it's going to or the channel it's going to take you to is called Pronouns. Just go to the top of that page and there's reactions that correlate to pronouns. So, you just have to set your pronouns there and then you're all set. Where California? Where, where Shanghai? No, that's a no. Where is a good prefix? It is, isn't it? Good job, bub. Mm -hmm. I'm glad good job, bub has caught on. I didn't even start that. My friend started it. Oh, come on. Where is it? All right. That's where the piping sits. Where, Abama? Where, Arizona? Ooh, where, Arizona? That one's really good, too. Where is, is it? No, that one doesn't work as well. I think where, Arizona and where, land are the best because it, it just works. Where Wisconsin? Where Wisconsin? <laughs> I don't know. You're from Arizona? By from, do you mean like you're born there or what? You grew up in Wareland. Nice. I think being born somewhere doesn't make someone from that place. I think being from somewhere just means like that's the place where you spent most of your time and the place that is that you have a home. That's what I think, but I'm sure everyone has different opinions about that. You were born there and you live there a few years. Okay. I mean, I was born in Oklahoma and I lived there until I was like four or five, but I never say I'm from Oklahoma. But I also generally don't say I'm from anywhere because like I'm from everywhere and also nowhere because I moved around a bit let me make sure Ash if Ash got in there okay perfect Ash, you're all set. Have a look around, make yourself at home. Don't be shy. We're a pretty active Discord bunch. So, jump right in. Jump on in the water's great. Cage, why are you posting those things in the live stream chat? They don't go there. <laughs> That's a sharp looking honing guide. Nice. I'm not going to read any of that right now. We have two general chats, Cage. Why would you post that in a live stream chat? Anyway. 
Let's continue sewing the thing while well, I can actually get it finished. So when I made this, I also used zip ties as stays to help it keep structure. And those also make the sewing kind of interesting. Did Marcus stop in the stream yet or was he just lurking on Discord? I think he was just lurking on Discord. Tell him he's rude and to come see me. He'll pr I assume he'll stop by at some point, like once he's had some rum or something. But I mean, if he would come to hang out, that'd be great too. When I asked in the other day, I asked in Discord a question about like people joining Discords and expanding Discords, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And he mess Marcus messaged me, and he was like, "No, I don't want more people to join. I don't want it to become huge and chaotic." And I was like, "Don't worry, don't worry. It's me. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Quality over quantity any day." So up here, the part that I'm trying to sew right now is kind of being a pain because there's a zip tie getting in the way, but it's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but trying my best. I just want this, whoa, to go in a little more. There we go. Maybe I can reverse it. Are you serious? It broke another fucking needle. God damn it. <laughs> ah! What is happening? We need 10 or 20 more channels. Yeah, something like that. Maybe 25, just to be safe. And three or four empty, very specifically named voice channels. Yes. There you are. Hi, Marcus. Did Clyde come and get you? Because he was like, wait, <laughs> where Marcus? Hi. Hi. Hello, darling. How did I bring two sewing machine needles in one, like, in an hour? How? Why? Bullshit. That's the 11. Maybe I should go with the 14. But they're both 14, so what's the difference between the gold and the red? Fucking no. No, my friends are making me play Space Engineers. What the fuck is Space Engineers? We're gonna play PUBG matches here and let some teenagers shoot us in the face, as you do. So they feel good about themselves. Fuck those kids. I just wanted to pop in and tell you you're awesome. Thank you. That's so nice of you to say so. Do they still have friendly fire in PUBG? I shot my friend in the face the last time we played accidentally. <laughs> Way to go. And then I'll let the little shits shoot me in the face and then I'll come back. Again, as you do. As you do. Why do the needles keep breaking? These are 14s. So I'm going to go with these top stitch needles. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, I don't think I did anything wrong, but clearly, clearly the machine disagrees. I don't know. Wait, what? He linked a $400 tool sharpener. Oh yeah, I saw because he posted this stuff in the live stream chat. We weren't even talking about that stuff. He said he was going to bed. 
And then he was posting stuff in the live stream chat rather than in crafts or even in the general chat. Bro, that's not where those go. And like, no, I try not to police people about where they post things, but like, come on, that's not where that goes. Especially after he said he was going to bed. How is that thing $400? That's insane. Yeah, I told him I stream how to sharpen tools for a fuck ton less, for sure. Fiona, do not bite me. Ah, no, get out of here. Ah, everybody's all over me. Where's the water? You, out. Out from under the desk. I don't want to spray you because I love you. Go. Fiona's also more stubborn and she'll be like, fine, I will move one step this way. Can you go? Go out from under the desk. My legs are not for snacking. Not for kitties. Not for kitties with little razor teeth. Go. Thank you. Ugh, can't win. Just use three different grits of diamond stone. Oh my god, and some water. That sounds about right. I don't even know much about sharpening tools, and that sounds right to me. Yes, you can. You can totally get by with sandpaper. I sharpened my um, putty knife with like a big file. It works great. It's fine. $459 actually, which would round up to $500 if, we're, if we want to be technical. A hard time with stones would you get with an abrasive paper. See? People who don't know how to sharpen will spend anything to get sharp tools. And the funny thing is you can get sharper without the fancy machine. Precisely. Precisely. I got that file because last year, like... I have cabinet scrapers because sometimes it's far more enjoyable to just brute force scrape all the paint or whatever off of stuff and I needed to sharpen it so that's why I got it because I didn't want to pay a bunch of money. The only magical sharpening machine I own is a drill bit sharpener. They drill a lot of stainless and eats drill bits. Oh I bet. I learned to sharpen from Paul Sellers and his simple techniques work for me. I don't know who that is but all right. Sellers freehand stuff and I can't do it. I just fuck the edges up. Hm. Well, yeah, I don't know. I haven't sharpened anything except for my putty knives and cabinet scrapers. Eventually, if I have more things that need to be sharpened, I'll figure out how to do it as cheaply as possible. As cheaply and effectively as possible. Oh, that was my 12 minute timer. Oh, well that sucked. Oh well. So, okay, out of that. Like Ria's method is fine if you can figure it out. It's easier to figure out if you work with factory sharpened irons. You couldn't freehand the Craftsman Stanley replica I was restoring. Mm. Millet muncher. Wow. Hi. Thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. So much tool talk. It's fine though. I'm glad that people are talking. I just, I just don't know stuff about that stuff. So I don't have anything to offer. I could try to like chime in with things and then like put my foot in my mouth a whole bunch, probably. Why don't we do this? Mm, oh, I have to bring the bobbin back up. Why do they keep breaking? That shit is so annoying. Hmm. I want a talk show, Marcus, where we get drunk and high and talk about tools. Winter, we're not selling as much. 
Oh, okay. So now I'm chopped liver. Thanks. I don't get to be part of it. I thought Marcus and I were going to do the talk show originally, but I don't matter. I see how it is. I'm just the person who connects all the other people to each other. And then they just like run off into the sunset together. I get it. I get it. I just find the cool people and connect them all to each other. And then that's how it works. I see. This is... I think that's too far off. Then we have to hold it upright because it's not going to stay otherwise. Mm -hmm. Don't even go there. Wait, what? You want to do car talk, but for boats? That would be fun. Don't even go there. I'm not pity partying. Are you kidding me right now? Don't even say that to me. I'm not pity partying. Do I need a hug? Not right now. You know the only person I call darling. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Sure. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. If I was mad, you would know. I don't get mad. Not like we do this without her. Uh-huh. Now you're backtracking. Now you backtrack. Nice. Very nice. Let's see how it is. I get it. I get it. Maybe it broke the needles because I dared to try and sew at a faster pace. Wasn't even my idea. I know. I know. It was my idea. I said the thing about talk shows before it was that one time where you were drunk and i was teaching you how to do things in obs at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> and you were disc we were discord voice chatting at the same time that's where the talk show thing came from and clyde was jelly he wanted to join in on the talk show but i guess he was a chicken because he didn't now he's just trying to steal the whole idea for himself a bit rude a bit rude. You said you didn't have much to contribute to the tool talk, so I didn't think you'd be super duper interested. I'm... I am interested, because it was my idea. Bunch of idea poachers. There are going to be multiple talk shows. Only one. Only one. One talk show that talks about everything. You know, if you listen to the radio, there's different talk shows at different times. Okay, but this is not the radio. We don't have to be like the radio. I don't want to work in radio. I've recorded radio commercials. I've been on the radio. But, yeah. I'm drinking, so I'm not going to remember this. I know, Marcus. I know. I feel like that's usually the case. So I don't expect you to remember things most of the time. And I don't think it broke because it hit a zip tie or anything. I don't think that was the case either. We gotta, like, hold it way up here. I don't know. Fluky came back. Maybe Fluky will start a talk show with me. I don't know if he's even interested in that idea, but... I know he has interesting things to talk about, so maybe we just start our own talk show. Holy shit, this light is so fucking lightweight compared to actual fluorescent fixtures. I know! It's like featherweight and it's bright as fuck. It's amazing. You could like do surgery by that light. Almost. Dang, I don't know how to process this. You don't know how to process what? I can talk you through it. You've had plenty of time since Marcus drinking talk show to actually do it though? Oh, okay. Well, that would, that would require active participation and planning by the other parties that's that's the, the kicker so are you messing with us are you actually mad 
Marcus, I said I was not mad. If I was actually mad, you would know. You would 100% know. Let me not say mad. Are your feelings hurt? My feelings were hurt a bit. I'll be honest, my feelings were hurt a bit. Because the talk show thing was my idea. That was our thing. That was your and mine thing originally. And then Clyde went in on it. And now Clyde be poaching my ideas. Trying to run off into the sunset with Marcus. Right in front of my face talking about it. A bit rude. Can't believe you. The audacity. This is still not in the right place. Whatever. Where's the piping? Maybe there. There's gotta be trolling. Don't assume such so much audacity. It's true. It's true. The gall. The gall of this guy here. Sorry, I wouldn't do this without your statement that you didn't have much to add about the tools makes me think Clyde's assumption that you didn't want to participate was valid. Never assume. Never assume. Plus, the original talk show idea wasn't necessarily about tools. I think it was about, like, everything. It was, like, whatever random things under the sun. Okay, this wants to run into the stays and I have to keep like holding them out of the way. It's kind of annoying. Let's clip this edge. And try to keep it straightened up. Socks isn't here, so I have to hydrate myself. Anyway, anyway, we can still talk about that or we can talk about something different. I don't care. I'm not actually mad. Not actually mad, but yes, I did want to be included. Vaxian Kit, hello, or Vixian Kit, hi. How's it going? How are you tonight? Oh, okay, so it's one of the stays, but it's also flipped. How did that happen? It like is turned sideways, so it's poking out where it's not supposed to. That would certainly do it trying to sew around this piping. Good, what are you working on? So I'm working on, do me a favor, please, please, please. What's the favor? Tell me the favor, I will consider it. Um, so I'm working on a cover for my serger, the serger that's back there, that thing. Um, making a cover for it. I started it some months ago, but I never actually finished it. Um, I had to restructure it because the pattern, I made it based on a pattern that was like a one size fits most thing. And so the pattern made it way too big for my serger. So I had to resize it. And now I'm re-sewing it after resizing it. And then doing loose stitches, then I'm gonna go back over with the actual thread that's the right color. Something like this happens. Don't get bent out of shape and guilt us out. Just say, I want to be included. It was my idea when you were drunk and I will do that. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm not trying to make you feel like a terrible friend. And I am also never the type of person who guilt trips anyone, ever. Because that's shitty and I'm too autistic for that shit. Straight up. Like, it would never even cross my mind to try and guilt trip someone. OK, 
okay but why is it twisted so i used zip ties as like stays to help this thing keep its structure like keep a good shape the whole time and one of these got flipped around at some point i don't know how it's trying to cause me problems well you've unintentionally yes un unintentionally and some of them might be might be the rum i think i suspect some of it could be because of the rum Okay, we're almost through Blue V3. Hi, friend. Thank you for following. Thank you so much. So nice to see you. Wait, what? Hold up. The piping is way over there. How the fuck did it get over here? That needs to be 12 inches. Okay, so this needs to scoop way the hell over. How in the hell did we get here? Mm, what? Okay, that's just super weird. Gonna go with it, see what happens. No, go through. All right. Ah! Is a thread tangle is the needle bent? Ah! Shit. Bad things happening. That's not good. Oh, Vixie and Kit, thank you also for the follow. Thank you so much, friends. I've only had two glasses. How big are the glasses? How many fingers of rum are you drinking? Are these like pint glasses? What are you doing? Be back in a bit. All right. Don't get shot too much. The app is weird to use. Is that like the Twitch app? Because the Twitch app on mobile sucks. And there's always delays. I really wish they'd get their shit together. And you can't even like subscribe to channels from your phone like... At least not very well if you're on an iPhone. It's dumb. You may pop in and out, people are messaging me. No worries, no worries, Kit. Small 1.5 ounce of rum in each. Did you measure it out like a shot glass and a half in each one? Okay, well, <laughs> suddenly I'm terrible at sewing. Things be having conniptions. Okay. Oh, yes. You gotta lower the presser foot, then do it. No, that's not what I wanted either. Okay. Cut and run. When in doubt. Okay, let's try and see if this thing fits correctly on the machine this time. Why am I putting why am I putting the loose threads in the box of clips? Why why am I doing that? I have not I've managed so far to not um, royally fuck up. So that's cool. Can't wait to see how I will manage to mess up. Because inevitably, I do some kind of horrible fuck up <laughs> that could have easily been prevented with foresight or planning. Why is that like that though? That's so weird. Whatever. <laughs> And wait, what? And then topped off with the rest of the rum. Oh, yes, small one and a half ounce, but then topped off with the rest of the rum. Right, right. Sounds accurate. Just kidding. I'm kidding. Let's 
flip it inside out and see where we're at. So I wanted it to fit kind of snug. And I use the piping, which looks really good, but I have to make sure to sew things as close as possible to the edge of the piping. Let me run this thing while I'm over here. All right, let's throw this over the top. Ow, there's a chair there. We'll throw this over the top and take a look. Okay, so it is kind of, it, I mean, oh, fuck. Fuck, I, I did, I figured out what I fucked up. I figured it out. I knew it would show itself soon. So the thing I messed up is there are zip ties that go in the front here. They're sitting over there on the desk. Yep, a little bit. So overall, it looks okay. If it can sit like that, I think I'll be all right with it. Oh, that's the one that goes over the top. Okay. Yeah, the stays for the front and the back are over on the desk. The problem with this, too, is that um, this far edge of the, sun, of the machine is like a negative space. Because that might be where you'd have a scrap bin or something. But I, it didn't come with a scrap bin on that model. So there is no scrap bin. And yeah. So it's like negative space. So the cover doesn't want to sit smoothly. But I will figure it out, I guess. Um, okay. I'm switching the Stream Raiders battle. What do we want to place? Let's do this. Cool. So yeah, it fits, but that side is a little bit weird. But also I gotta undo it a bit and put that, put those zip ties in where they go. These, these things. Always something. Um, could one person do like, um, Big B, if you're around, could you do exclamation mark F for me, please? Because that's the command for when I fuck up something like that. Fuck something up in a way that requires significant seam ripping or something like that. Thank you. It's also behind a fair bit because we just made it like a week ago. And it should probably be like 24 times. But there are um, not timers. What is it? Slow, not slow modes. Cooldowns, that's the word. There's cooldowns on it. So you can't just spam all 24 at once. throttles nope cooldowns where it means that like somebody can do that command but then they have to wait a certain amount of time in order to do it again all right just need to open it up enough and this isn't even like a huge fuck up because i just have to undo like three small stitches
and then it's all right. This seam is okay. It's a little bit weird. I'd like to fold that over and have it go underneath. That would be nice. I don't have to undo that side too, just because it's not in enough, but it's fine. It's fine. Is that going to be weird? Yes, okay, so I have to pare down this particular one because it's too wide. I have a pair of shitty scissors. Oh, they're right here. Then I can I use them for like pruning plants or cutting plastic and things that make it dull. So that goes there, and then how much of that will we cut off? Not very much. Let's see, maybe that's enough. I cut off like mm, a centimeter, I think. About a centimeter. Because then if I bring in that side and that side, I think it should just work kind of tempted to fix the seam on this end so then I don't have to worry about it getting in the way. What is all this? There's like a bunch of thread up here. What the hell is that? Oh, maybe it's just excess. Okay, that's weird. Like a big bird's nest of thread in there. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna move this one, fix this side, then we'll rotate it and fix the other side. Let's see. Now I feel like everyone's mad at me because they couldn't tell if I was actually mad. <laughs> and now I feel bad. But that's kind of on par. <laughs> like that's what usually happens to me, so. People can tell if I'm joking and then I am kind of joking. I don't know, it's always a whole thing. Miscommunication might as well be my middle name. Um, yeah, okay, that'll be fine. I just need to clip it. Oh, I should flip this inside out again. It's generally the better way to do things. All right, now, now we're better. Clip these together and then line it up. Push that over well out of the way. And roll over. Or rather roll that under, I don't know, fold it under something. Bigby, have you been up to anything else besides work lately? Like, I'm glad that's going well, but there's more to life than that. So I didn't know if you'd have been, had anything else interesting happen lately or anything you wanted to share. Or anybody else, if anything cool or interesting happened to you this week, feel free to tell us about it. So this is the side. So now the stays from the side are a bit too long, maybe. And I feel like I should trim that one down. 
because otherwise the needle's going to try to go through it and that maybe will not be good. We met up with some friends last weekend that were visiting from out of state. That wasn't the taco thing, was it? Was I thought the taco thing was a few weeks ago. Because the taco thing... I thought the taco thing was... The taco thing was for that band. That's right. That's right. Friends from New York and Texas and North Carolina. And everyone is vaccinated. Excellent. That's great. I mean... Again, being vaccinated does not mean you cannot get COVID. It just means you're less likely to die if you do get it. See, lots of people acting like they're invincible. Not you, I'm just speaking like in general. Like, all the students came back in the city where I live because it's a huge university city and there was like, an entire city block of sidewalk filled with like freshmen. I think it was like a freshman walking tour or something. And none of them were wearing masks. Well, some of them were. Okay, but the people who were wearing them were wearing them wrong. So, you know, that's great. You didn't hang around crowded places. Right, right, which is always good to not do. I wouldn't be like planning to go to Ikea tomorrow, but I do need to change my desk situation and we really need to leave our house and like get out of our city for a day. Like our mental, our mental health really needs that. So I was like, okay, here's what we're doing. Don't question it. We're just going to go. And he was like, okay, yeah, let's do it. And I realized going on a Saturday is probably not the best, but sometimes you gotta do it, so. It is what it is. If I fold that under then, I feel like I should pin that, but if I pin it, it's not gonna sit. So we'll just try and guide it and hope for the best. Okay. And I don't need to do very much. I just need to do a few stitches on this. I'm kind of forcing it through. Maybe these like feed dog things are in the wrong position, but I thought they could only go in two places. They can go down and then I thought they would go up. What's the shit? And now they're not moving at all, so that's cool and weird and great. <laughs> Ow. Wrestling with whether or not to attend Dragon Con in two weeks. Oh wow. Yeah, wow, Dragon Con. I haven't heard I haven't heard about that in a minute, but I have friends who would always go. Elbows, hi. What's that in the top right? Percocet for Raggedy Ann. What what does Raggedy Ann have to do with anything? In the top right, um, that's a shelf. Pill bottles are really good for holding straight pins. They're straight pins. This other pill bottle has tiny binder clips in it. Sorry to disappoint. No Percocet in this house. How are you? I thought they were buttons. Oh, you knew Raggedy Ann has a few. That's fair. They are buttons on the ends of the straight pins. So kind of a both situation there. Okay, so it's in place. That's really all I need. That's in place, and we'll try and get this other one going. Okay. 
out. Don't stab yourself with the sharp scissors. It hurts. Um, I don't know if that's, I don't, I'm not sure how to pronounce the first part of that. I don't know if it's a hard J or an HJ. Um, but thank you for following. The first part, I'm not sure, Rios79. Thank you so much for the follow. It's an HJ, uh-huh. Why do you say that? Do you know this person so you can safely say that? Or I always just let the person themselves tell me about how they want me to pronounce their name. That's usually the safest bet. Well, it says Javier, that's true. That's true, but the capitalization breaks up that word, so I wasn't sure. Everyone hydrate. I can do that. Okay. Yes, elbows, I get it. Elvis, I get it. You can, you can, we can be done with that topic. I get it. Uh, I don't know. I was fine before, but now I feel more like irritable, which I don't want. What the fuck, man? Are you serious right now? Okay. You're mean by, am I being mean? I just like, you were continuing on about how to pronounce it, and like, I, I got it. I got it. It's cool. Everything is cool. Everything is cool. I'm just trying to have a cool Friday night with everybody, and I guess I guess I'm failing at it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Whatever else. Okay, so we did that side. Oh, I feel like I might have. Yep. I just broke one of the zip ties that was in one of the sections that is done. I snapped it in two. Absolutely unintentionally, because there's these two clips here, and I grabbed it right next to the clip, snapped it just like that. <sighs> Great. So now I'm wondering if I should undo that and redo the zip tie because it's probably not gonna, it's probably not gonna sit right if it's broken. How do the zip ties work? Well, Ash, I guess I will show you. <laughs> um, well, I'll just show you using this one. Okay, so up here, we've got the zip ties. They were, we started off with 12 inch zip ties. And I, this one was made from, I cut the size that I needed and then I super glued together sex, smaller scrap sections to just use that up. So I ended up with these longer segments. Um, it's probably not going to show, but I super glued these two segments together. No. Um, yeah, so I just super glued together these segments of the cut zip ties and it works really well. And then just now I happen to grab this next to the clip and it snapped. Super great. So I guess I have to undo one of these. I will not undo the part I just did. Yeah, that's the zip tie. I think that's the zip tie on the part I just did. <laughs> Because, of course, that would be my luck. So I have to undo some of these stitches. I hope, I hope my explanation about the zip ties was clear. If it's not clear, let me know and I'll try and explain it another way. And I want to undo just the sewing stitches. I don't want to undo these overlock stitches, but they're both white, so sometimes that's tricky. 
Are they a permanent cinch or are they holding the cover in place? Um, neither. I'm not using them as zip ties. I'm using them because they are a reasonably rigid long strip of something. And so in crafting purposes, you can use zip ties in place of like stays. So like if you think of like a corset, that's probably the most common thing people think of that uses stays. So that's the that's the way I've been using them. And I can show you the other part of how that works. Yeah, like bony, which Automod has a problem with. Automod is stupid. I had it on. Maybe I should just get rid of Automod again. Um, so yes, exactly like boning, exactly like that. So on here, I'll just show it over here. So there's these different strips. These are like, um, this is bias tape that I use to make channels to run the boning through. So it goes all the way through the whole top of the cover to keep it in a nice arch shape. And then I have some going across all four bottom edges. So which one, where was the broken one? Broken one is here, okay. But I don't wanna to do too much of that. It's kind of dumb that like the iPad app doesn't show which, like it doesn't show me off and mug things up. Fine, um, that water is gonna be in the way, but can you pick that up? Okay, or not. You don't have to close it all the way, but yeah. That's, that's plenty. Okay. Um, got that. Pull this out of here. Oh yeah. Again, it's probably not going to show up because it's dark in here, but there's like the part where it gl where I glued it. And then over here where it snapped. Now I have to kind of ease it out of this. Um, I keep calling it the theme, but I have to ease it out of this folded over hem at the bottom to get the broken segment back out. Here's the broken part. Oh, it was over here. Just like that, and it just snapped. So I don't want to reuse that. Which makes me feel like I need to make a new, a new one. Because of course, right? Things cannot go smoothly. Not allowed. All right. Um, I'm going to get the zip tie. And then I think I'm going to get another NOS. I think this is another second. I think this is a second NOS situation. Because I finished the first one. I opened it late and finished it early. Where did I put those? Okay, let's grab a zip tie. I'm going to set this here. Um, and then I'm gonna run to the kitchen to get another NOS and I will be right back. Yeah, I'll be right back. One moment.
Oh, what the fuck? Ouch. Mm, there's cardboard. You stabbed me. Don't forget to take your anxiety pills, children. They're really useful. Where were we? Oh, we're cutting a new zip tie. So the total width for the bottom hem, it used to be 12 inches and then we realized that was too much. So now it is less than 12 inches and I have to like figure out exactly what that means. So that's really more like 12 and a half, I think. Almost 12 and three quarters, maybe, I will, or 11 and three quarters. Maybe I will try 11 and three quarters and see what happens. Cause I can always cut more off, but it's a lot harder to add it on. So, How did I do this before? First, we cut off the part with the... What is that part called on zip ties where it, um... It has that square bit that you push the rest of it into. What is that part called? I guess that's the part that makes the cinching action, but... I have no idea. Yeah, I don't either. Things I've never thought of until now. Probably has some super specific name. Oh yeah, probably. Absolutely. I like to burn the ends a little bit just to get rid of the sharp edges. A tongue? What? No, I don't think so. Because if anything, the tongue would be the narrow, the narrow other end that you put into the square part. Cable tie head? Are you looking this up and guessing? Or are you, are you just guessing off the top of your head or did you look something up? Because it would be very like you to look something up. I'm looking at images. Okay. Parts of a zip tie, is that, would that be the right Google search? All right, so hopefully I cut it up. Hopefully I cut it at the right point, at the right place. Go all the way through. Now this other end is getting stuck on something. Maybe a rough edge, I don't know. Let's see. A rough edge or I put it through the wrong layer. Anything is possible. Mm, okay, well, it doesn't seem to like that. But that's, that's the only place it can go. It's like trying to bunch up over here. I have no idea why. All the way over, please, and thank you. Wait, were you talking about the part where it locks in or slides through? Yes, the box part. A locking head. Oh, that would, that, 
I could see that. Um, if it's, I was gonna say if it's right here on the top of the trash can, I will show you again what it is, but it's not so, oh wait, wait, there it is. This part. <laughs> The square part with the, the slots in it that you put the tab into. This camera couldn't do its job to save its life. That thing. Seeing an image where the flex flexure that engages the teeth is labeled the tongue. Um, yeah, the end. The little, like, narrowed end. That being the tongue makes a lot of sense. That part is fine. I just dropped that fucking thing. Yeah, this part. If this part is the tongue, because it narrows here at the point, that makes sense. That part totally makes sense. But the other end is what I was wondering about. So, if this is the tongue, what is this part called? This is the part that I'm wondering about. This little weird square thing. Okay, let's see. Oh, I was like, I don't want to sit down because I started that battle thing and I have to get right back up. Why don't I do that? It's totally okay if you don't know. That's fine. I gotta stand back up. I was like, don't sit down. And then I sat down. I don't know why I do that. Yes, this also counts for like a stretching break, but I don't really stretch, so... I don't, I keep thinking I want to look at these, um, I keep wanting to look at, like, the pictures channel, but I don't want to because there's snakes there. <laughs> this battle thing is taking way too long. Way, way too long. I guess we wait. And I'll put away a couple things. While waiting, I'll put these away. <clears throat> there it is. The stream reader game won't load properly. Weird. Sometimes it does that. Personally, I don't care. Like, I care that you're having some sort of difficulty with anything because, well, why wouldn't I? But stream readers, I don't care about the stream readers. And I do it because people ask about it. Let's see. Oh, there was like, there was a hair. I felt a hair, but I didn't see the hair. There it is. All right. Can I place this one yet? 20 minutes, Jesus. Okay, now we can go back to sewing.
Anyway, does anybody have anything they want to chat about? Or any random conversation topics to throw out into the world? I did a thing. Where did I set that? Because now I am missing one, two, three. Now I'm. Nope, I didn't put that in. I'm sure I just cut that. Where the fuck did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh, it fell on the floor. Okay. Let's try this. I just, all I wanted to do was finish this. And yet is not so simple. Why? I have no idea. Okay, wait, so we've got this one and this one. This one, okay, so it does go up here. I guess I have to melt the ends because it's getting stuck. Ow! I fell, it fell. It fell, I got burned. Seems about right. Yeah, reloading the browser usually helps with most things. Somebody, uh, I was watching a stream last night and somebody was playing that Gartic Bone game. And I was trying to join for the last run they were doing. I was trying to join and because I hadn't, I haven't, uh, I have not actually played it before. So I was like, sure, whatever, I'll join. And um, I was trying to play from my iPad because it's a drawing game. So I was like, all right, more screen real estate. That'll help. So I did it and it totally like zoomed in too much on the game. So I was like, oh, I will just refresh the page. That'll be fine, right? No, it completely kicked me out of the whole game. So that was really awesome. I'm gonna, I'm putting tape around each of these joints because I have a feeling those are also what is getting stuck. So putting tape over them smooths it out a bit. Around the lap joints between zip ties? Uh, what? I'm not sure what you're referring to. Do you know who CM Punk is? Uh, sounds familiar? Sounds kind of familiar, but I'm not sure. He came back today. Chicago was cool. Huh? He came back in Chicago today. It was cool. What do you mean by that? He retired in 2014 and he came back. Oh, okay. <laughs> that doesn't super help me if I'm not sure who the person is, but okay. Is that music or not music? I don't know. I like, I don't know what industry this person is in. Okay. Okay, but yelling at me from a different room is really not helpful right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so apparently the person is a wrestler. Great. What? Which wrestling? Okay, 
Thank you. CM Punk was a big wrestler from WWE. That was going to be my next question. He left in disagreement with Vince McMahon. Oh, okay. Was it like real disagreement and like real beef or was it like stage beef? Do we know what the disagreement was about? Oh, it was real. Okay. What was it about? Mm, okay, two more pieces of tape. Fuck. The way wrestling was set up in WWE. Oh. Like, how how was that? What, what about the way it was set up? I do think the way that they set up some of the stuff is bullshit. Like, the, or the wrestlers who are actually talented and skilled and that are actually like technically best at what they do they never actually like get to win titles i feel like it's always like the shitty ones that no one actually likes not just like heels but like just people no one likes it did not push the younger talent forward it recycled older talent oh i could totally see that like fucking Charlotte, man. People love her, but I can't stand her. She just looks like she should have retired a long ass time ago. But there's also plenty of others. Um, ah, uh, who? That one dude who's like been around forever. So it became discouraging and made of hate wrestling. That's, I mean, that's cool. It's interesting also that he had that perspective as what I assume is an older wrestler or older talent. But yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Did I melt that side? Did I melt this side? I did not melt this side. So what made him come back to wrestling then? Did they change the way they're doing things? AEW have been talking to him. Oh, okay. And he told the crowd he just wants to wrestle younger talent and help push them forward. That's nice. Oh, my iPad is going to die. I got to figure out why it's not charging. Because it's not plugged in. That would do it. Did you know you have to plug in the other end of the power cord? Hot tip. There we go. It'll probably charge by tomorrow. Considering how slow it is. I'm assuming he's probably getting a crap load of money. I mean, probably. I don't know what the amount is to entice someone out of retirement, but I'm sure it is a pretty penny. Wasn't there some... This is, I mean, wrestling related, but off, off of that topic. Wasn't there something somewhat recently where, like... Did Cesaro and uh, the Japanese guy, I never remember his name. Did they like team up for something? A dump truck full of cash pulling up on the front lawn is usually persuasive. I mean, it would convince me to do a lot of things, yes. They did team up for a while. Ugh. I thought I saw stuff about that, like, through Instagram or something, but I haven't, like, watched wrestling in a while, because it's just, it's a big time investment, you know? Um, so I didn't actually watch a lot of that, but I kind of wish I did, because both of the, like, well, Cesaro is my favorite, but the other dude whose name I never remember, he is also, like, up there, because he's amazing. So watching those two as a tag team would be really good. I really didn't like when Cesaro was teamed up with Seamus because Seamus sucks. Nakamura, yeah, Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro did team up for a while, but they never really won anything as a tag team. They were there to lose for a while. That's what I'm saying. The people who are technically best 
at their craft, at what they do, they never get to win anything, and it's fucking bullshit. Okay, this is still too long, so I need to shave off a tiny little bit of it. Um, oh, who's the other dude that's really good? Sammy and Zane, he's really good too. And he, I feel like, also never wins. Knock on where just makes me think chess? Why is that? I don't, I don't follow chess at all. Do you mean chess the board game slash sport? Or do you mean the musical? Or which, what kind of chess are you talking about? Well, that bubbled up too much. I need like a file or something, which I don't have. I think it's Zane, Nakamura, and Cesaro. It's, it's Cesaro, not Cesario, but that's okay. They have been promoted lately or winning matches lately as solo or at least of storylines. So that's good. I mean, I feel like they have to because they're, they are fan favorites because they're top tier. He's a contender for World Chess Champion, a regular Twitch streamer. Oh, I had no idea. I haven't, I think maybe that's the first time I've heard of seeing chess on Twitch, but like, duh, that seems like a total no brainer. Of course there's chess on Twitch. I melted this one too much, so it has like bubbles on the end. I remember like learning to play chess at various times in my life, but I'm just not great at it. I mean, I say that, but I also have had very minimal opportunities to play chess. I used to like playing checkers a lot. Okay, so that's in, this is in. Now I can clip it back and redo this side. Super great. WWE cut a lot of talent lately. <gasps> like, cut forever? Who did they cut? I guess you gotta give me all the dish because I, I, I don't keep up. I like wrestling, but I just don't. I don't have the time or the brain space to keep up with it all the time, you know? But I do like that it's something, you know, that you can just come back to whenever and it's almost like picking up where you left off. I was really mad ow, when they, I'm sure this is like ancient history now, but I was really mad when they split up and they split up Enzo and Big Cats. That made me mad. They were one of my favorite tag teams also. And then the way that they did it was really, really stupid. I just watch, oh, you just watch review shows, so you don't have to sit over three hours of repeat matches. Sometimes we just watch the repeat things, like we'll watch the event on like the WWE app thing or whatever service, I don't know. And we'll just fast forward through the matches we don't care about, because who cares? Okay, so this is going here. How in the hell? 
Oh, I see what happened. So that got way off. All right, let me try this. A bit unwieldy. What the heck? I lined this up and it got set up a bit wrong. Big Cass is in Impact Wrestling now. It's W. Morrissey. What the hell is Impact Wrestling? I've never even heard of that. Ugh, it's warm in here. So that can go there. Is that all the way over? Oh. Trying to make sure the zip ties are out of the way before I start sewing. to do this very carefully because I think there's a zip tie a little bit in the way and don't really want to break any more needles. Like is doing the thing or it doesn't want to advance. Oh my god, why? Why? Why does it do this? Doesn't help that the thing keeps trying to fly off the table. So there's several other alternative major promos. Yes, I I just have trouble keeping track of them. AEW I've heard of. Impact was formerly TNA. I have I don't think I've heard of that one. New Japan Wrestling. I think I've heard of that. I don't think I've seen that one. Ring of Honor I've heard of and I've probably seen it a few times. NWA National Wrestling Alliance, owned by Billy Corgan of Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, weird. Huh. And that one, the acronym sounds familiar, but I don't think I've seen that one either. There's, an, there's one that I guess is like newer, owned by a guy that's from here. I don't remember what it is though. The crab I pick up during COVID last year on my free time. <laughs> Wrestling nerd info. It's good though. It's good. You're going to be really valuable on a, at a trivia game someday, sometime. And you're just going to like be the guy who knows all the stuff and make the team win. It's 
totally going to happen. Something is jacked up with like the position of the feet dogs or something because like it's not moving the fabric through the machine like it's supposed to. Wait, just fucked up. Oh god, and it's like bird nesting. This is bad. It's not supposed to do that. What's the wrestling thing that is by that guy that's from here? It's AEW. Oh, it is AEW? Okay. I wasn't sure. So yeah, I guess the guy that owns AEW is from here. Because they came here, I guess 2019 sometime. Um, and they had a show and we went to it. It was decent. It was kind of weird though because I didn't know any of the wrestlers. And some of them were okay, but a lot of them I thought were kind of boring. There's, yeah, Tony Khan. That's the guy. Yeah. Um, but then, like, oh, there's, like, one wrestler whose thing is, like, dinosaurs or whatever, and that was cool. But, I don't know. Maybe it was just because none of it was familiar, so it was harder to follow. I'm not sure. I should be asleep and wake with one hour of sleepless night. What? One large cup of iced coffee and eight ounce can of watermelon flavored Red Bull. I didn't even know they made watermelon flavored Red Bull. God, that makes sense. Wait, what makes sense? Oh, not knowing, not being able to follow it as well or not finding it as interesting because it's less familiar. Yeah. It takes time to get to know the, the wrestlers and see what is good or what, you know, which ones you prefer. Champaign, Illinois is one of those places where like seems like everybody everybody like either has a connection to someone here or has or either is like from here somehow or has been here. It's it's weird. Plus in 2019, they were trying to figure stuff out too. That makes sense. I don't remember when exactly it was, but it certainly was not in 2020 unless it was the very early part of 2020. Um, I think also, I want to say there was like a person's, we had like seats up a ways because we were like it's it's whatever it's not a huge deal they weren't like nose full on nosebleeds or anything but like I, I think there was also somebody down in front of me blocking my view just enough that like I missed a bunch of the good stuff okay so why is this like this maybe that does need to come over more fuck Yes. Okay, that's too far over. Maybe tomorrow in the car I will start... Um, maybe tomorrow in the car I will start one of the other food amigurumis. I don't know which one I should do next. Maybe I should do the toast first. By first, I mean next. There we go. Stay Farm Center, December 4th, 2019. I was wondering if you were going to look it up. And I thought correctly. Thank you. That be it. This other edge was just a bit too long. Spent so much time researching information at my job. That's good though. I 
trying to think. I don't know if I specifically had a job where my job was like looking up information. Although when I did, when I was working at like the trio office, I did a fair bit of that, but I'm just good at looking up shit. <laughs> But it's, yeah, it's a valuable skill to have. Okay, this can go back where it was. I had to undo the clips to situate that zip tie. My nose is so itchy. Oh my goodness. And I don't know why my nose is like all sniffly either. Kind of annoying. Baby, why are you not getting any sleep at night? That's not good. And don't say I'm used to it because that doesn't, that doesn't even matter. That's like super besides the point. Okay, I think if I set it up like that, should go through. <gasps> no, cut that. I have to fix the feed dogs first. Oh, heck no. I'm not used to it. Okay, good. It sucks. Uh, yeah, I bet. Why, why are you not sleeping, though? Not sure why I'm thinking too much, or who knows. Hopefully it's sleep well tonight. I hope so. Um, do you think, like, melatonin or something would help? I'm gonna figure out why the feed dogs are being shitty. research B3 and S31 S31. Um, wait, what? Oh, that's for the quilting foot. Slide that to, to the left. That lowers them. I don't want to lower them. But they stay down there. Huh? I'm gonna look this up. Maybe if I can sleep for multiple nights, I'd probably take it. I think sometimes I think about workload lately and then other personal stuff. Yeah, I guess I can see that if like your waking hours are spent thinking about work stuff because work is so busy, then like your brain and stuff still needs time to decompress and process through all the other thoughts that would normally pop up at random times in your head. But if you don't get that opportunity, then it's got to happen sometime. I guess it's probably also like a variation of like reclaiming your time at night because the daytime hours you don't have such control over. I gotta look up why the... Oh, why did I do that? I gotta look up why the feed dogs are being weird. Mm. 
He dogs on the accord. So that to feed multiple layers without shifting. Dang, what's that one? I want that. That sounds great. For even side stitching. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Quilting foot. I guess I have one of those. Climbing foot. Roller foot. Side cut foot. No. Oh, the walking foot. The walking foot is the one that has feed dogs to help multiple layers evenly without shifting. I see. I'll read about that later, but I just need to know why, like if I'm doing it wrong or something. Hmm. Nope. I don't want to know about actual dog feet because that's the other results happening. I'm nearly straight edge in terms of substances. That's fair. Jacob, hello. How are you doing? People think alcohol helps you sleep. Yes, it'll knock you out, but all the chemicals and sugars wake you up wide awake, so don't do that. Oh yeah, alcohol is terrible for helping you sleep, at least for most people. <laughs> and it also does not help your brain get restful sleep. Although for me as a person with narcolepsy, um, I have had times before I was medicated where like if I went out with friends and I was just like super drunk, I would actually get really good sleep, <laughs> which is terrible, but that's true. But no, Jacob is right. Do not use alcohol as a sleep aid. My body clock hates me. Can only sleep five hours a night. My brain is like, okay, wake up, Jacob. Wow. Your brain sounds like a busy body that needs to mind its business and let you rest. You know, but I recently got out of the clinic for anxiety and substance abuse 30 days sober today. I'm so proud of you. I wanted to be like, clap, 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 but that seems silly. But Jacob, that's wonderful. I'm very proud of you and you should be very proud of yourself. Yes, absolutely. Congrats on your 30 days. Are you doing anything to commemorate the milestone? Um, oh, I wanted to figure out why the feed dogs are being weird. So I'm trying to check. The next step is to check in a Facebook group or the sewing machine. I suppose using the term feed dogs in any Google search is kind of just asking for non-helpful results, right? Um, after giving up, uh, let's see. Maybe this person has the same problem. The feed dogs will not come back up. Yeah. After removing the plate, I can lift it up manually, but it will not return after free motion quilting. What do people say to do? I cleaned it, put it back, and re-threaded it. I think there was a delay between telling the machine to return it and the computer moving them. Try that. Um, that's weird. You need to turn the hand wheel one full rotation. I mean, I'm willing to try it. Yeah, because you need the feed dogs to feed the fabric through the machine in the right direction. And if it's not doing it, well, that's not good. Oh, 
let's let's try it let's run this through okay so it's like trying to but it's not doing it like i can see them moving doesn't make any sense. Jeebers, what, what? So, oh, Sydney, yeah, it's still in lockdown. So there's a cute family dinner with the housemates. 845 cases in less than 24 hours. I have a feeling it's just going to get worse before it gets better, unfortunately. Uh, my, my very good friend, she is in Raymond Terrace and like she just went back to Oz in March I think of this year after being here for seven years but she was in lockdown here for you know a full year plus and then she had to do the like 14 days however long quarantine when she got there and now they're all back in lockdown and she has a toddler and she's just like struggling with it really hard which makes sense like kids need to get outside and play and they're having trouble getting that making that possible I think, you know what, I think at one point I messed with the presser foot pressure. And I don't know if I ever reset it, but I'm also not sure what the default is. So that's fun. Hmm. Oh, God damn it. It did not save that. I had to save the stitch and I didn't do that. Five. Give me the left, right, shift. Let's try it now. That seems more promising. Cool. Problem, problem potentially solved. Good job, me. So I guess if you want the feed dogs to come back up, you have to flip the switch in the back, and then you have to turn the hand wheel at least one full rotation. And that's definitely never mentioned in the book, the manual, the user manual. Small world, I drive through Raymond Terrace to get to my mom's up on the coast on the highway. I always stop there to give me petrol and a snack. That's so fun. So halfway from Sydney. Oh, it's halfway between your mom and Sydney. That's so nice. Yeah, she just went back in this, I would say this past spring, but I mean, it's winter there now. And I guess we're in that area. They've been having some issue with like playgrounds being closed so kids can't go and play there. But then in other areas, they're open and it's really inconsistent. And she's really frustrated about it because she wants to take the kid to go play. But well, they can't. But then other people can. So why is that? Parent problems, I guess. Okay, so now we can try sending this through again. Got this here. 
going along. Why does it everything take so long? Get out of there. So now I think this side is done. Or by done, I mean ready to go over with the actual green thread. <laughs> but I want to double double check again, make sure it all fits on the machine properly. I have to redo this other side. This is never going to get done. Just a guess. Hold on. My only guess would be because of lots of people stop at Raymond Terrace for a break from driving, it could become a potential COVID hotspot, so they close the parks. Just a guess. I don't know. I mean, like here, playgrounds were closed, period, for the first major lockdowns. And then as they gradually reopened some things over time throughout the summer, they reopened playgrounds because of like shared services and whatnot makes sense to me maybe they left it perhaps they left it up to individual governments i forget what they're called but was it lga like local government area is that is that the right term she was telling me about it the other day and i can't quite remember it's like the equivalent of american counties That one is there, so mostly I need to redo this. That side is okay. This side is... This side is not where I want it. But it can be... Okay, I'm just gonna run it through and do a little bit. All right, let's push this over, see if it will cooperate. fabric is really thick at the at the lower hems so it's kind of tricky sometimes to sew it or go through it I mean close enough let's try this one more freaking time and then we can do it officially. <laughs> well, I might have snapped another zip tie, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, I'll start this. So in hindsight, it was not a great idea to use sections of broken zip ties to glue them together. That was not a good move, but the rest of it was okay. I say that only because the segments that were glued together are now ripping, or not ripping, they're now breaking. Okay, 
That is a bit sad. It's a bit sad, but not the end of the world. Okay, what are these? Oh, it's a beetle. Okay. All right, back to this. Let's see if it will fit. I mean, it fit before, but like, let's make sure it fits well and how it is supposed to. I wish there was a way. I mean, I guess I just have to pull it down and then it sits fine. The other side is a little bit baggy, but I think it's okay. Um, and it's supposed to hold the presser foot. It looks okay. I wish the front didn't like collapse a bit, but what else? Looks okay overall. Need to tighten up this front edge and then yeah this far side that you can't see it kind of bows out which i'm not wild about but suppose it will be acceptable it'll be acceptable enough to call it finished once i go back over it So what does that mean? Changing thread, I guess. I guess that's what we're ready for. I wish there was a way to get that other side to sit down flat. It goes across the bottom, but it bows outward, which I don't like. But it's again, that problem, that like negative space problem. You're gonna try and sleep. Bigby, yes, you should get some rest. No worries, friend. Thank you for hanging out and keeping me company and telling me about all the goings-ons with wrestling. I do appreciate that. So yeah, get some rest. We will catch you later. Oh, cause I didn't redo this side. All right, we'll rip this out. Yeah, the inside edge got bunched up, so I wanna fix that before we go over it officially. All right, so this goes here, this goes here. Where's the rest of the pipe? I guess like that. Is that Cognoscenti or Conoscenti? Either way, thank you for that follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome in. Big B. Thank you for those bits. That's so nice of you. Thank you so much. Wholly unnecessary, but very much appreciated.
All right, now you're going. All right. Good night, sweet dreams. We'll see you later. Trying to make this lay flat enough. It is really not wanting to work with me. How annoying. One spot that I cannot get to sit the way I need it to sit, which makes the bottom of the edge, the whole bottom edge uneven. It won't work right. If it won't go correctly, the whole lower edge will be uneven. Yeah, that's what I was meaning to say. this edge on this piping. Mm, fuck. Well, I guess that works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, I was coming undone, so I just extended the stitch all the way down to secure this part just a bit okay so now is it gonna do the thing I want it to do I guess that's okay that has to be okay and there's another edge here that I want to um oh that's the front that's the back, so that goes towards the back. Okay. I'm tucking in all the tails for this piping. Oh my gosh. Sit. Sometimes the thread gets, I don't know, out of whack, and then it just curls up and you can't work with it at all. on that line and go through there hopefully whoa oh jesus that's gonna be so uneven why why does this happen like you can just see how they are not matching up like this they should be the same level they shouldn't be popping up in the back nope it was fine the whole rest of the time oh never mind it's still fine it's it's the edge of that piping that's doing it well fuck I will rip it out and redo it real quick. Once again, wishing I was faster at these things. Okay, so 
What is a better way to do this? I can wrap it that way. I go this direction. I think that'll be better. Jacob, what are you up to? If you're still hanging out, what are you up to? Let's try that. If I hold it, I'm going to have to hold it in place for sure to keep it in line. And I guess go slowly. try to reverse it doesn't want to go but I'm not gonna force it because that's not the most important thing okay so I think that looks all right and trim some more over here Just doesn't doesn't look right to me, but I feel like I need to leave it. But then that's gonna stick out. Maybe it'll be okay once I sew it with the green thread. Maybe it'll be okay. Watch it not be okay. All right, so, oh, and there's another tail that I did not, there's this other one that I did not sew under, so I need to secure that one. All right, I'll try that again. Try it again, but from the other side. Oh my gosh, come on. And this section is really thick, so it doesn't want to go through the machine, which is also really great. <laughs> cut that way the piping lays down flat which will make it much easier to go through the next time I feel like I need to go over the end of that piping but I'm not gonna That's tucked in, that's tucked in, okay. All right, so now I guess I think I shall re-thread the machine and go with the green. I feel like I should check it again, but I'm sick of checking it, so I'm just gonna take the chance and go for it. I'm not sure how else I could possibly like largely ruin this at the moment, so we're just gonna go for it. Mm, oh, here's the green. 
We have this other green up here, but it's pretty close, but it's not quite the same. goes in here set the other side pancake hello hi how are you hi snow love your streams thank you that's very nice of you to say you got one hour left wait one hour left for what for your was it 10 hours off you have one hour left of that or one hour left of something else. Um, oh, the green bobbin's over here. And we'll thread it up, thread it up with the green this way. Work then 10 hours, okay. Oh, so you have one hour left of work? Is that the one hour you were talking about? Do you have any grand plans for your 10 hours off besides sleeping? eating i did i thought of that after i said sleeping and then i was like well i thought that was kind of a given so mm, that goes down that goes there what are we waiting for there there it is okay We have a thread and a bobbin going, waiting for the truck to come back. We have eight left to load and then eating and bedtime. Wow. So you have to load eight more trucks? Is that what you're saying? That sounds like a lot, especially for an hour. I have the Google Map poop. <gasps> Yay! You can throw that in Discord if you want. And then post the link in here. That's probably the easier way to do it. And then I'll have it for future reference in Discord. Because I do like to go back and re-look at things. Uh, this way and then... I'm trying to find the larger clips that I have, but I think they all got buried at the bottom. Um, is just turning around a lot? What? Wait, what is turning around a lot? <laughs> mm, post in Discord. Um, let me go look. Which channel did you put in? Did you put in the pictures one or? No, it's not in there. Uh, where you did not do a spoiler alert on your photo. Um, if you post in Discord, can you post it in the live stream chat? That would probably be the best place for it. For your map picture. All right, so we've got it set up with the green. Which direction am I gonna go first? 
I guess, I guess this would work. Oh, fuck, I gotta change the stitch length. Hmm, back that way. We're gonna do it for real this time. Length, two and a half millimeters. Let's see. I don't have the best internets here. No worries. No worries. It's in fix. That's fine. That is okay. I will. Ch I guess I'll just check that before I start back in the sewing. Here we go. Okay. Hotel is the Alaska West Lodge. Paul's Arts and Crafts. Where we dump. What barge comes in here. Okay. What are, what are you, what, what is being delivered? Oh, wait, dirt, right? You said it was dirt. And what, they're dumping out all the dirt from the barge, but what, um, what is the purpose for the dirt again? I do not remember. Oh, it's gravel. I thought it was just dirt, like fill dirt. I thought you were sending a map picture of like where that city, town, whatever is at, like on the overall map. But again, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. I'm late. I'm putting my phone on a different channel because I don't want to look at snack. I don't want to look at snake pictures. I hate snakes. Yeah, and he did not put a spoiler thing over the image like you said it was going to. But, yeah. Okay, let's dive into the sewing. Oh, so they're going to build an airport. So the gravel is for the airport project? Huh. Interesting. Oh, I'm going to do the shift. Let's try this again. It's just so the fabric is so thick that like that combined with the piping, it's really struggling to advance the material. I'm kind of doing it manually, which sucks. It's not great. I don't make the rules. I just use the equipment. That's, yes, this is true. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so we want to go a little bit faster, but not that fast. Maybe if I move this over, I'm just like trying to get a better angle on this. It's not, not helping me out. I drew these lines on here, so as long as I actually follow the lines, it should work out okay. <clears throat> That's the goal.
especially around the curves. I really want to get it to hug right up close to that piping. And it was doing it in some places, but not in others. I'm like, hmm? I'm one of like two white dudes on this project out of like 25 people. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Like, what, um, what is your reason for mentioning that? I guess is my question. Like, why does, why does that matter? Or what is the reason for mentioning it? Just curious. Maybe if I undo these clips, it will fit a little bit better. 25 people who are not white. Yes, I got that part. I got that part. I'm just curious why it matters. Or maybe it doesn't, but I'm just I'm curious why, why you are telling me. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, this corner business is so awkward. There's layers of fabric in here that just are not cooperating. They're not not cooperating. It's just, it's just bulky and awkward to deal with. That's really all it is. up close to the piping. Pancake, did you hear me asking about the reason for mentioning that? I'm just curious is all. glad I went through this the first time with the looser stitches because that's making it so much easier to um to like finish it up not finish it up but to go over it this way to go over it with the like official proper green stitches Alaska is very diverse I mean she uses skill over race every time let me elaborate I do not have a good connection no worries no worries. And I'm going to go backwards because this missed a couple. Like, not missed, but it's not as close to the piping as I would really prefer it to be. Thank you. 
basically I'm keeping my finger super up close to this to make sure it lines up as close as I want it to, but it, uh, um, I'm probably going to end up like stitching over my fucking finger. should have clipped that side. Oops. Yeah, I should have done that, but I didn't. Oopsies. Because if I clip these lower hems edges together, then it does a better job of making things line up nicely when it's all said and done. So, piping is over here and over here. All right, here we go. finish this side and then I will go over there and make that battle thing happen. Okay, but where is the, where's the piping on this side? Okay, I guess, I guess it's gonna work out. As best it fucking can, anyway. All right, tying it off, cutting it. Doesn't look bad from this side. Okay. Let's go over to the desk. chosen over 200 people for this project based on skill alone. I was the best for the job. I ordered my buddies to come with me, but they didn't pass the test. I'm here with about 20 different people. They're all people. Well, I would hope so. They know what they're doing, and they they all have great cuisine. What? I was with you, except for the whole they all have great cuisine part. Maybe that's a typo. Wow, it's a giant cat. I did not notice that until just now. I love, oh, I just love their taste in food. Oh, okay. It seemed, I thought maybe it was a typo because it didn't seem to fit with the rest of what you were saying. this make wait what you make mac and cheese or who who does that one oh they make ramen that blows my mind 
Yeah, I've never been able to, I've never been able to do that. Well, like I've made like this shitty two minute stove top ramen. I've done that, but like I've never been able to do it up the way that like you're talking about. I know what you're saying and I just have never been able to make that happen. <laughs> Marcus, hi. What? Also, what is a 15 minute grill? What does that mean? Is that a specific thing? I can teach you how to make super awesome ramen. Super easy. I'm a scratch cook. What does a scratch cook mean? Marcus, I was never mad. I told you that. I've ne I'm never. <laughs> I was never mad. And if I'm not mad, but someone keeps asking if I'm mad, like that makes me irritated. So since since you left, I have been feeling very irritated and anxious and unhappy because I feel like everyone is mad at me now. Best Hawaiian barbecue ever. What makes Hawaiian barbecue different from regular barbecue? Um, I have to run to the restroom, so hang out for a second. Marcus, you too. Hang out for a second. I gotta go to the bathroom. I really have to pee. I will be right back for just a second. We gotta talk about... Yes, we should talk, Marcus. Hopefully when you are not drunk. <laughs> um, I will be back in just a second, okay? Okay, I'm back. Fuck, I gotta plug this in. Forgot to charge things after the last stream. 
Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm back. So where are we? I'm not drunk. Okay. Sometimes you say that and I think you're more drunk than you think you are sometimes. Because I repeatedly said that I wasn't mad and then you kept asking if I was mad and that made me irritated when I was not originally irritated. You gotta get back to work. The answer is <laughs> marinade. All right. Thank you for letting me know. I'll look into that. Um, yeah, Marcus, I think the whole thing was a clusterfuck and a misunderstanding because I was trying to, like, be humorous, but it clearly, like, came across wrong. I just wanted to be included in the thing that was my idea. And then you left, and other people left, and then I felt like what I had been trying to do got very lost and misunderstood and, or misconstrued or whatever the fuck. And then people, like... So I wasn't trying to be a jerk or anything, and then I guess that's what happened. So I've been feeling very anxious and irritated since then. And I also have to say, it's been a very long time since I've wanted to like quit a stream in the middle of it, but I definitely have wanted to do that like five times tonight. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> of course we would include you. Well, I was, I assume that to be the case, but sometimes people are like, sometimes I try to be like playful or joking about things because like, that's a way to interact with people and that's a thing that you do with friends. So that's kind of what I was trying to do, but obviously it didn't work. So like sometimes I'm like, why do I try being humorous? Cause it mostly doesn't work. It makes people mad at me. <laughs> it usually has the opposite effect. Don't want you to feel anxious and irritated. It is several hours too late. You're gonna drink more rum. Okay, I don't I don't think that's gonna help this at all, but if that's what you need to do, that's what you need to do. Okay, so I guess this side Hopefully is done. Hopefully. Mm, I would like some of these to be closer to the piping. There's a dyn Hi, Frightful. There's a dynamic around a woman with hurt feelings that you were finding, even if you were joking, but... That's what I came across, and that made me super anxious, okay? I don't really know what you mean by that. Don't let it get to you, it's something you're awesome. I know, I wasn't... Yes, humans are messy. I wasn't letting it get to me. The thing that got to me was that after all that happened, you left, Clyde left, everyone left. And so I was like, oh cool, that's great, so I guess... I guess I was being a jerk, and that's what happened. Rifle, how are you doing? I like how the voice to tech engine translated be humorous as fishing grants. Oh my god. Yeah, the, the subtitles captioning thing I use, it is not the best one, but it's the easiest one to use, so... That's how it is. I, one day maybe I'll get web captioner working, I don't know. I would like to, but I have found it difficult to use in the past. There's a couple places, oh fuck's sake, there's a couple places I'm going to go back over because I want them to hug that piping and it's not happening. Probably a coincidence. Sure, coincidence or not. Maybe you can see how, how, even if it was a coincidence, maybe you can see, like, how that could be interpreted. <laughs> it's late as fuck, is it? 
And you're just up. You have four days of deep clean ahead of me. What? Why? Is there a reason for this four days of deep clean or is this a pre-planned thing you had going on? At least I got the cracks in the patio weeded before it rained. Oh, good job. How can we make this better? Marcus, the thing to make it better is to stop stop dwelling on it. Like, to not dwell on it and, like, just move on from it. <laughs> like, one, one, one thing you should know about me is, like, when things happen, it takes me a lot longer to work past them than it does for other people. Um, I think, I think neurotypical people are able to, e are much easier able to be like, okay, and then like just flip a switch and move on from the thing. And I can't do that as easily. So a lot of times the easiest thing to do is just like transition to another thing and just c carry on and eventually I'll get there. Landlord inspection, you have 14 days notice. What? They just come around and inspect your place? That sounds very daunting. I can't imagine that ever going over well in the US. There might be places that do that, but I don't know. What does that mean? EBDB? What, what is that? I don't know what that is. It resets the house, so it's a good thing, but a pain in the ass. It sounds like a pain in the ass. Is there like a checklist of tasks you have to have completed? I learned in the US only have to give 24 hours notice. Right, they give 24 hours notice, but they also don't come around and inspect your your living space as far as i know uh, okay right here is a spot i would like to fix not fix just clean up i want to clean up some of these lines i should have looked at them beforehand, but I didn't, so... It's mostly clean and in good order. Oh, I have a dog that sheds a lot. Yeah, that'll do it basically the landlord's agent creating a billable service like you wait you have to pay for them to come in and inspect the place welcome back Clyde we have a new light installed in the shop my air filter is almost relocated that the box thing that hangs on the ceiling and you moved it where did you move it to oh the landlord has to pay oh so who does the inspecting who does the inspection thing The agents what what kind of agents <laughs> what are the agents of I just sorry I know like the way that some things are done there is different and I know sometimes the terminology is different are they like inspectors from the local government that come in and make sure everything is as it should be Oh, that went one, yes. And haven't noticed any difference over the jet that he has in his shop. I have, I have, I don't know, whichever air purifiers I have. <laughs> Clyde said they were fancy. And I turned the thing on, but 
How do you know that it's working and doing what it's supposed to do? It made a nice white noise, but yeah, I wasn't sure if I, there was something I was supposed to be noticing. And a bunch of fiberglass and if you don't spend the next three days coughing you know it's working wow the first filter should clog up with dust i don't know if the first filter is clogged with dust because i haven't opened up the thing since i got it oh the property management company oh they bill the landlord oh okay oh so if the landlord's the owner and if they go through a property management company they come and inspect it that makes sense Spray a bunch of paint, then it's green. That makes sense. Yeah, their planner is great. Except they just sit in the middle and collect money and don't actually do much. That sounds about right. Sounds about right. I really am, like, not gonna lie, I really am in, like, kind of a perma bummed mood now. Then <laughs> it's not great. I'll be honest. But I'll figure it out eventually. So I need to go over a little bit closer. I build for everything and don't do anything. Yes, I'm I'm following. This sounds about right for things with rental properties. With tenants' rights improving, they have to increasingly provide services to keep revenue up. Which is also why they're getting more religious about inspections, oh I'm sure. Because it's harder to evict a tenant. Which, you know, like, why would they be so eager to try, like, I don't know. I guess the way that you're saying that, to me, it sounds like it's saying they're more eager to try and evict people. But I don't understand why they would be more eager to do something like that because, like, then you have to find a new tenant to fill the space and that doesn't seem... That's more work. <laughs> okay, that's fine. For crazy people with a room full of cat heads, it could take years to get rid of us. A new tenant's easy. No, oh, housing in the UK is fucked. Housing everywhere is fucked, honestly. Let's put this over here somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I was trying to line up some of these a bit closer. That's not even, that's not even close to the piping. What the fuck? Hold up, hold up. I might have to go down this side again. Damn it. Up, up at the top, it's really hard to tell because the, the zip ties get in the way. We live in an army surplus house, so our landlord is the military. Ooh. Do we have this agency in between? There's always got to be so many middlemen because everybody wants a cut of the pie.
Everybody wants a piece, so they invent a reason that they should have a piece of it. Why is this so difficult? Unless it's not difficult, then it's just me complicating it. Wouldn't be surprised with that either. So our rent is mid-market, and realtors mean you pay half as much rent for a better maintained property and no worries that you get kicked out. So they can air and be like the last two places? What? Oh, you're saying that sometimes people, they'll kick people out of the apartments or the, the dwelling place so that they can use it as an Airbnb instead? That doesn't seem like a better deal, but okay. To each their own, I suppose. Why are these just puckering? Um, okay, so there's a line there to follow. There's a white line of thread from the the original stitches and my green thread is going right next to it. I'm trying to go back over and go directly over the white thread. Okay. Why does this, why does everything take me so long? I hate it. They can make 100 plus a night here with Airbnb. Market rent for two bedrooms is about 800 a month. That That's a good point. Yeah. Even with the pandemic, they're making that much per night? That seems kind of odd. But I suppose there's enough people not minding the rules, so whatever. <laughs> So then at the end, you have to go slow. Because I'm not trying to bust any more stitches. Probably not making that much now, but I'm not crying for the Airbnb pool. Right, same, exactly. Sell your spare house, right? Exactly. That was a thing here in the States where because of like COVID and lockdowns and people not traveling, there were all these people who had a spare house or apartment or whatever space that they owned for the sole purpose of having it as an Airbnb. And with no one traveling, they were losing tons of money and these people were getting so upset and like, that's no one else's problem. Sell your spare house, exactly, if, the, if, you, if, if it's such a problem. Pardon me for having trouble finding pity there. All right, let me go over this one, this other side. Almost there, I think. I hope. Fucking hope. Hmm. 
no. Mm. Gonna cut that and try again. Cage, welcome back. I thought you went to bed. This town has a lot of subsidy subsidized new builds. And 50% for open sale go immediately to Airbnb. Jesus. That's a lot. It's a large percentage for that. Couldn't sleep. Yeah, it happens. Anything being rented, you're basically up against people willing to prepare, prepay a year rent up front. That must be nice to be able to do. You lay there staring at the ceiling. Eh, that's not fun. I think at that point I'd like take a Benadryl or something. Come on. All right. Oh, do the thing. Do it that way though. This side, the material and everything is just really thick, so it struggles to go through it, and it's really annoying. I'm gonna remove this book because it's fucking with all my stuff. What you're doing now. There you go. Much easier to do if you're renting 15 houses than subletting them on Airbnb. I guess so. That just seems like such a complicated way to do things. It's utterly unregulated. I mean, it sounds like it. Well, moving does not facilitate being able to drop a year's worth of rent and not worry about it. You have to, you know, have that money. <laughs> And I'm guessing Ohio is one of the cheapest places already, so moving is not going to solve that, dude. Plus, you have to have money to move, and moving is expensive. Come on. Why is it not working? Why can't I ever just have things go smoothly? I'm so fucking fed up right now. Why? Why is it doing this? Hmm? Zero sympathy when 15 year olds rent a five bedroom for a weekend and trash it with a house party. Oh, for sure. Like, they shouldn't have access to booking those things anyway, but hey, taking your parents' credit cards is pretty easy. Does your business not have insurance? Are you asking about, like, my business? I don't have a business. Or you mean, like, you're saying the people who rented out the place to the 15 year olds, did they not have insurance? I mean, they should. Any type of business should probably have insurance. But, you know. People make poor choices all the time. I'll suffer through cleaning my own once a year and have someone compliment me on the job. You're genuinely lucky to get a very rare army surplus house. Well, that's excellent. I wish I had enough money to do that. Not gonna happen. Well, not today anyway. Why did this get all fucked up? Why, why, why? Silly me, try to finish a project thinking it will be somehow 
not a marathon ordeal. There's like a whole bunch of stitches all on top of each other and I can't, can't get to them. Back up on the letter, okay. Just, wait, what? Yes, they should have insurance, but if they register their business, they have to pay tax on earnings. Yes, unregulated. Just ask the tourists money bleeding out the right out of the area since most of the landlords don't even live here. Yeah, that's the thing here too. There's tons of landlords and they don't live here. And then this stupid mayor that it was voted in, she loves to allow these developers from other countries and things to come in and build these high-rise apartment buildings which then sit mostly empty. They sit at like maybe halfway filled constantly. And there's tons and tons of these buildings around and it's complete bullshit. Yeah, masses of tourist money. Why, why do you need to message Marcus about tool sharpening stuff? He said he was gonna do a stream about it. Also, if you want to discuss tool sharpening things further in the Discord, you can, but just put it in the crafting channel, if you don't mind, or general even. One of those would be fine, but not in the live stream chat. Meanwhile, we have no local services. The infrastructure is falling apart from excess traffic. Yep. Mm -hmm. About how it goes. And we, like here, we also get increased car accidents because they build these high-rise apartment buildings and then, ah, oh, Jesus. They build these high-rise apartment buildings and then in front where it's like the street side, they put these like shrubs. And as they grow, if you're trying to pull out of the street or the driveway to one of these apartment places, and you know, you're looking left, you're looking right in order to pull out into traffic, you cannot see shit. So it's pretty much just blindly turning into traffic out of these buildings and it's very unsafe. Anyway, I feel like we're all just sitting here complaining and I'd ra I would really like to not do that. <laughs> I'm not like telling anyone not to talk about anything. I just feel like maybe the maybe we could try and have a more positive vibe happening. Maybe it's my fault. I don't know. If it is, I'm sorry. Okay, so I need to go up here and do this command. Again, it's off by 12 minutes. Oh, it's because I didn't change that alarm. I need to change the alarm. Uh, we'll set the timer and then I'll go back and change the alarm. So that's 55, 57. Uh, wait, but I did set the timer. Yes, I did. Okay. Cool. We'll wait for 12 minutes. I didn't look at the discord after I laid down. I might check it right now. Sure. And pre coffee, the low blood sugar anger will be bubbling through. Ah, toast. Toast sounds really good. I think toast is going to be the first, I keep saying the first, I think toast is going to be the next thing I make um, for the like food and breakfast amigurumis. I might try and work on that in the car tomorrow. 
Usually I like to do cross stitch in the car. It's easy and portable and a good way to spend some time, but um, I don't have any cross stitch going on. I haven't done any cross stitch in a few months. I was taking a break from it. So I might do some crochet in the car. I'm gonna run a scrap through, make sure it's not just fucking up for no reason. Looks okay. Oh, that actually looks really nice. So with stitching correctly, we'll just continue on with it and hope that it will cooperate. do this first part I might have to do it by hand I hope not but maybe we'll just hand crank it is what I mean it's just really thick layers of fabric that I'm struggling with I need to get a walking foot that would probably help Yeah, that's a bit better. All right. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now, now we're ready to actually go. That's not what I meant. Why the fuck did it do that? Okay. All right, it was being weird. So I think it's hopefully getting back on track. Just going in like manually holding it in place next to not next to you but to go over the white thread if I don't hold it and jam it up against the presser foot it won't um, it won't be as tight Snipping things. It's getting there. There's like a full moon happening or coming up. It 
So I feel like the other day, the moon was really huge when we were out like walking or whatever. I don't, I don't remember when that was. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. So over here, we'll need to get closer. Ow. Working on one of the curves again, which is a huge pain. I'm about to sew my fucking finger. That would be like the perfect cherry on top right now. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Still going. Staying in line is good, though. Sewing this side is doing a lot better of staying closer to the piping. I don't know if that's because I'm more aware of it or I sewed it close the first time. I really have no idea. And then this last bit will probably have to hand crank it. Or just go super slow. Yeah, that works. Actually, no, I'm gonna go closer because I think that's one of the edges that was like folding outward when we put it on the machine that it will be covering. Okay, so this one side, either the zip tie snapped. Oh, that's exactly what happened. Okay, well, the zip tie on this side snapped and fell down in it, so half of it, like, doesn't even have one. Man, damn Okay, this part is, I guess that's okay. This part is not okay, but easily doable. This part is less ideal as well because it's not fucking lined up, but can, I can deal with it, I guess. Cause I'm just about like super over this. I needs to move over more. Fuck, I don't want to rip that out, but that's the thing that's going to make it sit down. Damn it. 
damn it. And I wouldn't care except that it is a one of the outside edges that is visible. It's like the front edge, so it matters more. How do I get that to sit up more? Maybe, okay. All right, so I have to rip out a couple things. Fucking great. They're just small little things. I'm just, I've been working on this for too long, but I am committed to finishing it because I need, I need to be done with this. So many other things to do. And again, if it weren't the front edge, I wouldn't care. But it is, so I do. That's a 12 minute timer. 71, that's good. Oh my gosh, more spider silk. I feel like it really got the market cornered on the fucking spider silk. Jeez. All right. Ripping this out. Let's fix it. Then I have to pick out all this thread so the machine doesn't try to chew on it and choke. Because that's definitely what would happen. All right, all right. Oh, there's a fucking battle thing. Uh. I'm just gonna sit here for a second and deal with this. I need like tweezers, but. Maybe, maybe not. If I rip it from the other side, it kind of just grabs all of it. Somewhat. Oh, Mr. Whiskers. Wow. 2200, that's pretty big. And that's a threat to small animals, including humans. Has thick fur, moves quickly, and swipes with his sharp claws. Mr. Whiskers is easily distracted by bugs. Nice. Um... Okay, we'll send that. And bring this back over here. All right, cool. And, oh, yeah, there's a thread that has a knot in it, so I don't want the machine to try and chew on that one either. Okay, so let me try this again. Mm 
That goes here. And this needs to come over more. I think that's what I want it to do. Oh, it has to come up also. Fuck. All right. Ah. Sometimes you hold things in the wrong hand. Jesus. Okay. Let's try to get through this. I would love to just actually pin this, but I don't think there's really anything that I can pin onto. If I do that, it's gonna go that way, so maybe that. Maybe. Maybe I can do it this way. Gonna try it, why not? I'm gonna go from the opposite direction so I can see the side that I'm trying to work with. That way, this can stay up and that can stitch through, okay. Securing it, then going through with it. Cool. I'm going slow because the layers are very thick. And the presser foot tries to shove this to the side, which is part of the problem. this is going to work the way I want, which is great. Just a couple more. tie it off a few times to make sure it doesn't come undone since the bottom ones really want to do that. I think that's a lot better. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be late. Cage, it's your own thing. You can't be late to your own thing. I mean, I don't know. Sorry if I sound like I don't care. I'm honestly, I'm out of fucks right now. So that's where I'm at. If you want to stream tomorrow, stream tomorrow. If you don't, don't. That's really all there is to it. And there's like lower stitching to do on this. Fuck. I wonder, mm, I should be able to do that. Probably. Maybe I'll just wait. And worry about that later. Okay, so that one looks okay. That looks okay. This one. This is the one I need to fix. Which also means that I have to tear out a few stitches because it also slid over too far. Mm -mm -mm. 
well, maybe. Kind of just hack at them and then eventually, eventually they'll come out. More thing out loud than anything. All right. It's one of those things again where I have no way to know if that's the case or if you thought I really needed to know about that for some reason. I don't know. Something keeps like making like my fingertips dark. Like something's rubbing off on them or something. I don't know what it is. Because I'm only working with fabric and I'm not messing with anything that is dark colored. So I'm not sure what that's from. Um, I have to go past this hem, the double fold hem, because the double fold hem is the thing I have to fix. That's another one of those things where you want to be careful to undo the sewing stitches, not the overlock stitches. Did I get it? Maybe. And you gotta pull out all the short ones. Okay, there's like one more. Cool, I think that should be enough to work with to get it to sit the fuck down. Mm -hmm. All right, so this needs to go here. Actually, actually, let's Flip these sides together because that does help line everything up. And that will help. That will help line things up and give it the even edges that I am after. Okay, well, wait, no, no, don't go that way. Still trying to like roll one in front of the other, which is not what I want at all. Okay, so. Should be able to do it that way, but really, really I want to do this with it on top, but I can't because the throat of the sewing machine is not large enough for that so we'll do it the other way which is less ideal It's also, that also puts the piping underneath 
which has an extra layer of difficulty because the piping should be on top and it's just really hard to tell where it is when it's underneath several layers. And the presser foot is not going to be happy about that either. I'm going to try and do it this way in reverse and then maybe that will make it sit down enough. Okay. I'm going to have to do it manually, I'm pretty sure. it's farther away from the piping than what I would like. Two, three. Yeah, this is the side that's just way too thick. And I'm really working on it blindly. just it's still not as close as I would like but it might be it might be enough I'll go over just the edge of it one more time because I need it to go all the way to the edge and it just isn't because otherwise once it's opened it splits All right, now reversing again. It is so determined to not go where I want it to go. Sometimes enough is enough, so that's where I'm at. Oh god, and it totally like did like a big bird's nest thing down there. Gross. enough anyway that one's all right that one's all right that one's all right i just didn't want the seams with the piping to be opening up when it's on top of the machine and showing the white threads that's what i didn't want and this one has a little bit of an edge that's doing that thing i didn't want it to do
Because if you don't have it right on that white line, it's not going to do it. Which is why I had to go back over this. Okay, now I'm taking it off here because this is, I'm so sick of this. Just checking around and I keep finding places, but. You know, tis the plight of the perfectionist. Just figure that, you know, if I spend all this time working on a thing, it might as well look as good as possible. Yes, I think this side did a lot better. One spot right here. Oh, I see that, okay. It's a spot on a curve, which are the most difficult spots, but are also the spots that are most likely to show. Um, I guess we can go until I run out of the bobbin. Yeah, I see what happened. I see it now. with the curved parts you really have to just keep addressing it and it is easy to lose the grip on it especially if it gets going too fast i'm just going to go back over this whole curve because it's easier to just do that and it's not going to hurt anything that is set to like kick up at night and make it hotter in here i don't know why that is okay good enough or at least it better be so now i just need to actually surge the edges or overlook the edges so that it'll trim the excess and then it'll be good to go. It'll be done, done, done for real. There's all this blue shit. There's like, you probably can't see it. On the inside of this, I go on here. There's a bunch of dark blue crap. I don't know what it is. What kind of heat do you have? Is it forest air or radiators? Um, it's not radiators. It's sent us, I don't know, it's central air. We have a furnace downstairs. I don't, I forget what forced air means. Um, so maybe it's that, I don't know. But like, yeah, we do not have radiators throughout the house. So it's not that one. I'm just gonna finish this. All right, time to overlock. Oh, 
which is good. That's a big step. Do 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 do. Okay, what is happening here? Mm, yikes. Some of the thread got looped into the wrong place. Because here. I wonder if this thread is actually supposed to be like a cream or if it's supposed to be white and it just got messed up over the years. Pancake, you returned. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, I, I finished sewing the thing, the cover, either just by cutting myself off, if nothing else. Welcome back. So are you done with work now? thing charge enough? I don't know. Probably not. What the fuck is it? Okay, let's bring this over here. I don't know if there's a good angle for this or not. Unless going from the other side works. Probably doesn't. No, that's a terrible angle. I was just curious. And I can't really read the chat because it's far away. Radiators at least you wait everything is radiators good new builds have underfloor oh yeah with like the heated floors and stuff that's really nice that's a lot less common here but sometimes if people are doing a remodel they'll put heated floors especially in a bathroom radiators at least you can fit thermostatic valves and regulate the temperature a little at room level that's nice they're not paperwork the Antics ER is soothing. Well, I'm glad. Glad this is soothing for somebody today. Underfloor heat often has... Oh my gosh, it's too far away. I'm fucking blind. Has per room or zone thermostats. Okay. Um, yeah, and it might also be one of those things where the terminology that you use is different than the terminology that we use. So I'm not sure. Like, I know, like, heated floors, like, those are a thing. Um, but I'm also... I don't I don't know all the words for things especially right now when I am tired and frustrated all right let me try this out and we're gonna turn the knife on for this mm, if I want to cut off just this little bit let's see if I can do it because I don't know if I can I don't know if I have that kind of level of accuracy <laughs> Um, on this machine. No, oh, I did have the presser foot down. Okay. That looks really fucking good. Oh, I'm so pleased with myself. 
not the most even, but I think I did a pretty good job. Practice makes better. Uh, let's see. The, so, um, on here, the edges, they look so smooth and nice. That looks fantastic. Because on the top, there's these little loops. And sometimes they're coming off the side, which is not what you want. But I didn't have that problem. So that's wonderful. Which means that once I do put the whole machine through it, I'll probably run into that problem. Let me, let me do this. Let me move the iPad so then if people are saying things I can hear or not hear. Wow. I can read. Oh my goodness. I don't know about always nothing. Nothing is absolute. So it's important to be realistic, at least about things like that. I think which edge to start on i'm going to start on the back edge because if i fuck that up less of an issue right and again this camera is in the way so apologies maybe we'll just let that be a full-on side view and that'll be okay that's the way it's gonna have to be all right cool And the knife will cut there. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, I'm gonna clip. I am gonna clip the edges again. Just because I feel like that does actually help. Helps keep them even. I know I already sewed the seams, but at least in my head, it makes a difference. There is like one bit of top stitching I might do again, but we'll see. All right. We do have a talent. I don't know what, like, I don't know to what you are referring. What the fuck is this? What is this thing that's sticking up? Is that supposed to be there? I don't remember. Fuck. <laughs> this seems bad. <laughs> oh. Um, what? What the fuck is this? My presser foot lever is not doing anything. Why? Of <laughs> mm. course. Start stitching. I don't know what you mean. I mean, no, it's not a talent. A talent would be like something that you innately are like naturally good at. This is not that. Revenge Dungeon. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. I guess you are my 750th follower, so thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> this is... this is bad. <laughs> mm, where is... Where is phone? I must take a photo because I don't understand what it is that it's doing. Let's 
like stitch finger thing is caught then what is your talent or talents dude i don't know you're the one who said i had them in the first place i don't i don't fucking know that's that's something you said not me oh <laughs> why is this stuff Mm, everything is fucked. What did I do? Um, where's the book? Here's the book. What the fuck happened? Um, okay. Is the machine lock button released? I assume so. It didn't lock anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What the fuck did I do? Well, let's start at the beginning. Spiral bound book. Gotta start at the front. Usually helps anyway. Okay, so what is this thing that popped up that will not let me release? Mm. Needle thread selector. Yep, it's not that. The presser foot. Yep, I got that part. Like, okay, but what is this other piece? You just rip it out and try again. Yes, I'm trying to do that. The problem is that it's stuck. I don't know how to show this correctly because this camera sucks and the lighting is really bright. Um. Okay, so right here, see this like thing that's just uh, there's levers in the way god damn it so looking at this see this finger looking thing this post that's sticking straight up that's my problem i don't know what that is i don't know where it came from i don't know why it's sticking up and preventing me from doing the thing huh move to where the needle is up yes i got that part the needle the needle is up. I what? Are you serious right now? Like you said I had you you yourself said that you thought I had a talent for sewing and then you're trying to tell me how to use the machine? What? Like I I know how to use the machine. I've done this a few times. I just it is malfunctioning and that's what I'm trying to figure out. This is not normal at all like i didn't do anything i went through i tested a scrap as you should do and then i went through to do the actual thing and well this fucking happened you told me you didn't i think you're wrong honestly at this point that's great <laughs> um I told Cage, I, I'll be honest with you, Pancake, I told Cage earlier, I am very out of fucks right now. It's been a very long night. It's been a very bad stream. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you right now. Mm. That's there, that's there. Because that piece is not referenced in the user manual. What the fuck is it? Snap on presser foot. Yup, I got that part. Throat plate. None of these things are that piece. Seventeen. 
Yeah, that's that shit that's inside, and I didn't touch that. All I can give you are Alaska hugs. I mean, that's, again, fine and great, but I'm not a hugger. I'm not a hugger, and I prefer that people ask consent for hugs. Not just for me, but, like, ask consent for hugs from everyone. But I appreciate the sentiment. Take care. You have to go to bed. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Get some sleep. You work way too hard. Thank you for caring. I will... Tomorrow will be better. Tomorrow will be better. You get some rest. Thank you for popping in when you can and for coming back in. I do... I do really appreciate it. Sorry if I'm not as funny and amicable as I usually am. Ration. So what is this piece? Surging fabric, clearing the stitch fingers. Is it that? No. It's not that. Mm. Pressure for pressure. It's not that either. Over edging. Nope. Wait, steaming. Oh, I see what that is. Okay, so... Like, telling me how to do all the things. Great, but that's not what I'm looking for. I want to know what this part is that's giving me problems. Of edge. Red cradle. The fuck? A different part I didn't mess with. Okay. Placing needles, cutting blades, cleaning, light bulbs. Nope. Nothing. Okay, so what the fuck is this thing? It's a needle. The needle fell out. The needle fell out. That's what it was. What the hell? How on earth? Oh my gosh. How the fuck did that even happen? Uh. I'm sure this is like all gummed up in here. Because I can't light it out of the machine. God damn it. Why? Why does this happen to me? Oh my gosh. It's free. Oh, thank fucking crap. Ugh. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong. The the undertitle of my of my autobiography. Okay, the needle is not bent. That's a fucking miracle. My goodness. The left and the right won't. Which, one, which is which? Let's get the manual back out and figure it out. It says left and right, but they're in front of each other, so like... Placing needles, page 40. Well, 
let's get the small screwdriver. Oh, there is an extra blade. Neat. Loosen the black needle clamp screw and remove the needle. To prevent the needle from falling into the needle plate, which is what just happened, hold it with the needle insert tool as you loosen the screw. Oh, well, it's a bit late for that, but okay. Okay, well, the one... That other one was so loose, wow. I have no idea how that happened. That means I'm also going to have to rethread it and test it. Where? Okay, where's that little tool? I scoff and then I need the thing that I thought I didn't need. Oh, it's right here. It's like this little broom looking thing, but the end of it has some holes that I use to insert the needle. Which is kind of neat. It's kind of like a toothpick with a hole on the end. Because it is a very tight space back here. Oh, maybe it is left and right. I thought they went one in front of the other, but I suppose not. What a shit show. Okay, hopefully that will fucking do it. My god. Okay, so... Mm. Okay, left and right. Which one is which? That means this one. I'm gonna cut the thread and then thread it again. They give you like needle threader utensils, but I don't usually use them. Okay, so that is, that is this. Hope that's all I needed to do. Good lord, what a nightmare. I also feel like that other piece of thread is in the wrong place all the time, but it seems to work, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Mm -hmm. No, we went down this side. See what happens. Scissors? Mm, Where did I? Oh, I they went way under here. Okay. off and that looks good somehow all right let's try to do the thing i was originally trying to do oh my goodness okay 
I really thought that piece was something coming up from underneath. <laughs> but it wasn't. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to rip out the stuff that it did do because it is terrible. It's like incomplete stitches, a whole huge mess. Here's the seam ripper. Okay. You're supposed to be able to grab one of these overlocked threads. And if you pull the right one, it lets everything else come out, which is great. But since it didn't even stitch correctly the first place, it's very difficult to know which one is the right one to yank on. Normally you just look for, I think it's the left thread first, but this doesn't even look correct. It's like it didn't stitch correctly, so I can't use that method. Mm. There's also a huge wad of thread over here. Mm, a little more. Come on. This is not as bad to pull this, this, blah. This mess of stitches is not as bad to pull out as I was anticipating. So maybe I did it at least partly right. Where the hell are those last two? There's one. And a couple little short ones. Fuck it, I'll just snip them and be done with it. So I can actually do the thing I came here to do. To the trash. Let's try it again. From the top. All right. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh, I'm going to have to do it by hand the first bit because it is very thick. That makes sense. <laughs> it just broke a fucking needle. I quit. I fucking quit. Mm-hmm. Yep, I quit. <laughs> Yeah, but that's not happening. Not happening. Let's go do a thing over here. I'm going to deal with this later. Okay. Bring it up.
let's see. Perfect. All right. I have a plan. Uh-oh, we may not win this. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. 85T. All right, cool. Uh, this looks a bit dodgy. I hope we win. <laughs> Yep. Yikes. Okay, so I'll tell you what. Um, we can redo this, but I will not be on when the battle happens. But I have plenty of stuff to clean up in here, so I'll be around. Okay. And we'll try to keep everyone starting in the same area if we can. Let's try and do it that way. Hopefully that will work. So place your units. Um, I have a bunch of stuff to do in here. Your battle is going to happen. Um, but it is definitely time for me to raid and get out of here but it'll be fine. Come with for the raid. It'll be worth it, I promise. We're raiding Jody Hog Monster. She's fantastic. She's making food. It looks amazing. She does um, IRL streaming in Portland, Oregon. And he's just a super lovely human, so come along, get the channel points, whatever. And I'll be back probably on Sunday at least for a little bit. All right, let's go. just about to raid you. I am not even kidding you. I was just about to end and head to you. Oh my god, stop. Oh, you blew my entire stream. I made enough salad for us. I made enough salad for us. I'll go to the bathroom. I'll fix the fridge for your salad. <laughs> um, we need